everybody and welcome back to Outer Wilds. Finally, finally. Oh my goodness. I've I I was genuinely devastated last week that I wasn't able to play. <laughs> I thought my my PC ended up having issues. I've thankfully fixed all of that now. Um it um it did cost uh, a fair bit more than I wanted because I did have to buy a new PSU. It was the power supply in the end most likely. I did change a bunch of things so it could have been a combination but I think it's most likely it was the the PSU but that's been replaced now and I'm gonna be living off instant noodles for a while but it's worth it because my computer is functioning again <laughs> and I'm so excited to play this again I, I really want to I'm I'm so close to so many things I just I've just been so eager to play I just I'm really really excited but uh welcome in everybody let me let me welcome everybody properly uh, Rika, congratulations on the first. Hello, hello. Hi, Lumsev. Hi, Corey. Hi, Ginger Hitman. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you for the well wishes. Hello, Mag. Hello, Mecha Mech for Mega 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 Mech. I just said Mecha Mech. That's <laughs> Mega Mech forty seven. Hello, welcome, welcome. Uh, Akira, thank you for testing my sound alerts as always for me. Welcome. Hello, Bree. Hello, Jack. Hello, Primal Z. Hello, Gray Snow. Lovely to see you all. Oh, and thank you for following too. Thank you for deciding to stick around. I hope you enjoy your time here if you decide to stick around a bit longer. But uh, yes, I've I've had a um, busy week troubleshooting why my PC wouldn't work. So uh, <laughs> thankfully now that everything's working and I did, I managed to, I, I, I guess I say test streaming on Friday. We just, I just streamed on Friday. <laughs> The stream on Friday went fine, and there didn't seem to be any other issues, so I'm hoping that that is the end of my PC woes. We will soon see, we will soon find out. But yes, welcome everybody. I'm, like, I was I was genuinely so upset last week when I couldn't play more of this, because I'd gotten myself so hyped up for all of the things I was going to do, and I was like, in my head, okay, I'll mess around for like an hour trying to get this Quantum Cave things, and then I'm gonna start getting serious. And I didn't get the chance to get serious because my computer kept turning off. So, <laughs> so it didn't quite go as planned, but that's okay. Cause that means that this time we've got, where's my notepad? Boom. Here are my notes. Here are my notes. My notes for today are the Ash Twin Ember Twin Warp, which I definitely want to sort out. Oh, thank you. Thank you for remembering the backseat message. <laughs> Hold on. Yes. Oh, fabulous. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for the message and the pin. Getting that in place, I always forget. But ah, oh, gonna be lurking with spoilers. Yes, that is absolutely fine. Don't spoil yourself. But thank you so much for stopping in. And oh my goodness, I am so glad as well. I was, I was getting so stressed out about it, but it's working. Everything is working and better than before too, because I got the new cooler for my CPU. So that's very nice. But yes, here are my, my plans for the stream today. The first, plan is the the warp the ash twin ember twin warp i still don't know how i'm going to do that my current plan is to wait until the sand has already gone over and hope that that like the little margin of error that it's specified is enough time for me to get on and get warped otherwise i don't know i guess like run in at the exact right time i <laughs> I don't know, we'll be experimenting with that. But I think that's going to be an important thing because going into the next point of finding a warp core, I I feel like that's going to be somewhere Ash Twin. That's going to be an Ash Twin situation. And I, I, I think I'm going to need to warp if I want to get anywhere important. Uh, just, a, just a theory. I feel like I've been everywhere that I can like on the surface. It's very like warp uh, oriented on Ash Twin. So that's my plan for there. And then as you've seen at the bottom, uh, Quantum Caves can wait. I need to figure this warp core stuff out. So I'm not going to be distracting myself by running off to Ember Twin and um, <laughs> trying to find this one single cave just to get a log for something I've already figured out. But uh, I will I will do that eventually. I am going to do that because I'm a filthy completionist and I want to get all of the achievements and stuff. And I feel like there's going to be like an achievement for getting all the logs or something. So I'm really excited 
to play more, but the quantum caves are not going to be the priority this time. Because <laughs> otherwise I'm going to spend another hour just messing around and getting smothered by sand. Which I don't want to do when I've got all this potential stuff I could do. Ah. Uh, L Adeline, thank you for stopping in. Made it through all the vaults to come see it live. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've, I've got to say, I've been so happy that people have been enjoying the vaults. Because I feel like sometimes I have great moments and then other times I will do the same thing for an hour and expect something to be different. <laughs> but it's it's been such a great journey and there's still so much journey left too. I'm I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm ready. And Lynn Starfall, welcome, welcome. Anyway, I'm going to... Give me a second. I'm going to make sure I've got my, my incognito chat open. So if anyone posts spoilers, they can be deleted before I even see them. Oh, I should remove my notepad too. I don't need that anymore. But yeah, I am so excited to play more. Also, there's a little thing I wanted to mention that I've... It's something I've been thinking about every single time I load up the game. But I keep forgetting to mention it because the, the music is already at this point when I start the stream. Uh, the first two notes of this music on the home screen, like, it starts with like a dun 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 Every time I hear it, I just think of Snow Patrol. There's a Snow Patrol song, uh, I think it's, is it Chasing Cars? I think it's Chasing Cars. There's a Snow Patrol song and it starts with those exact same two notes. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same notes. I'll have to compare at some point and see if they are, but, <laughs> but every time the game starts, I just hear the dun 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 and, and I just think of Snow Patrol. <laughs> but yes, don't put it spoiler or you'll get deleted in Minecraft. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, I actually had a moment of pure terror when I loaded the game up earlier, when I was preparing for the stream. I opened the game and it told me to create a profile. At which point I was like, excuse me, I have a profile. I've had a profile for a very long time. There had better not be anything bad happening with my lack of profile here. Also, Nova Snowstorm, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. So I I made a I made a new profile. I just called it uh, SDG SDG. And I went in and my profile was not there. But thankfully, because I am always so paranoid about anything involving files or saves or anything, I always back up my save files. And I realized that when my computer shut out, when my computer was like turning off, I think it managed to corrupt my save file, but I still had the one from not last week, the week before. And I basically didn't do anything last week, so I, I managed to copy in my save file from the, the... Is it the 10th? I think it was the 10th or something. I, I copied that save file in and then I could switch profile and I'm back to my main profile. <laughs> so that was an, a moment of pure fear. But I'm, I'm just so thankful because it's one thing that I always do and I'm like, I'd rather make a backup and not need it than not make a backup and need it. So it's something I always do. It's every time I finish a stream, I always make a backup of my save file and I, I keep like two or three of them. And like, yeah, this is like the moment where I was just like, okay, this has made every single backup so worth it. Because <laughs> I was terrified. I was like, I would not want to have to go through everything I've done again. Like some of the stuff I got so lucky with, I, I don't, know if I'd be able to pull it off again so <laughs> like the bit with the uh the sun station I would not like to try and do that again <laughs> but yeah I I'm I'm just so glad I'm just so glad I managed to to get everything back where it was so I, I can resume my expedition <laughs> and I haven't really lost anything because I didn't discover anything last week I just kind of fell in holes and giggled I, I made one revelation, but that was something that I just, like, noticed with my eyes, as opposed to a log, so. <laughs> so, yeah, either way, I was, I was so terrified when it just came up with new expedition. I was like, no, I'm, I'm not starting a new expedition. I've done so much. But, yes, also stale fishies. Hello, lovely to see you too. But, yeah, I was just very, very thankful I made the backups. 
I feel like a part of me just... I always, like, I think the problem is I always expect the worst. Which is, like, it's a little bit of a pessimistic way of thinking. Thank you for the head pat. It is a little pessimistic, but I do... Um... I do think it, it pays off, like, in situations like this. Like, it's... Well, it's less pessimistic, more realistic. Like, preparing for the worst doesn't always mean that the worst is going to happen, but it's always good to be prepared. Me here, like, if, if I had money, I would make, like, a doomsday bunker or something. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> but yes, oh, and thank you for throwing something and the posture check, too. I'll have a big stretch. I also got the, the hydrate earlier as well. And I've got another hydrate. Uh, I hydrated with Sprite while it, while the the start screen was happening, because I wanted to save the can opening for when I when I had my mic. So here we go. Ah, there we go. Ah, oh, that didn't really have a fizz to it that time. Kind of just snapped open. Oh well. I've got my Monster Energy Ultra Rosa. I've this is my last can of the Rosa. After this, I'm gonna be having Fiesta for the foreseeable future. <laughs> So it's the, the last day of the pink. Prometheus Sprite, yes, that's exactly what I was drinking. I was I was drinking the strange uh, blue data from Talos 2. <laughs> but yes, thank you for the hydrate posture check. Throwing things at me. I I love I love when the worm gets thrown at me, worm on a string. It's a good throw. Actually I'm gonna have another stretch because I gotta sit up straight. I'm I'm already slouching slightly. This is so bad. I'm I'm getting comfy and leaning forwards. Uh, which one's the Fiesta? It's yeah, it's the the ultra one, the the no no calories, no sugar, and it's the mango flavor. The one with the teal can. <laughs> and I've got um I've got ten cans of that, so <laughs> that's all I have at the moment. This is my last can of the Rosa, and then I'm just having Fiesta for a while. But I might I might buy some more for myself, just so I can mix it up a little bit. Anyway, uh, Monster Energy, hashtag not sponsored, hashtag Monster Energy, please sponsor me, I drink all of your drinks. Anyway, without any further ado, let us resume the expedition. And there is also something else that I thought about during the last, like, two weeks <gasps> that I'd forgotten about. Like, with all of the waiting around I've been doing, I forgot I can take naps. I took, like, one nap at the very start of the game. And then I just didn't do it again. But this is probably a really easy way to just, like, skip forward a bit. Like, that's that's just, like, a minute. But if I do this, like, if I... Oh, I forgot my crunchy marshmallow. Hold on. Crunchy Marshmallow, yes. Starting as we mean to go on. So now it's like, now that I've done that, I've waited a little bit longer, then some of the sand should already start clearing from Ash Twin, I'd presume. Something I'd not really thought to do. Anyway, I'm gonna check my logs just to make sure I do still have all of those. Yeah, I still have all of, all of these important parts <laughs> but yeah it's like there's more to discover here at the vessel which i know about there's more to discover at the the caves i have an idea there but i'm i, I still need to i've got i've got two ideas of what to do there and yeah i think the rest is all just gonna be figuring out how to find a, a warp core to stick in this vessel <laughs> I think that's like my my challenge. I've got the, this huge, massive Ash Twin project thing here, where the central chamber has been physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell, which is why I am thinking that I have to warp in there. I'm not going to be able to get in there without using that warp floor. So that <laughs> that's my challenge. Yeah. Oh, look as well. An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. That. If I can get that, wait, if I take that as, oh, actually, hmm, hmm, I might, I might have to think this through a little bit more. Yeah, also, yeah, I, I love the little, yeah, 
the crunchy marshmallows. I love the taste of them. They're just, you're just adding a bit of, you're just barbecue charcoal taste. It's lovely. It's exactly what you want with a sweet treat, right? <laughs> also, Yummy Crystal, hello. Welcome, welcome. Right, anyway, I read this. I was like, ah, in taking that warp core and taking it to the vessel is probably a great idea. But now reading the rest of it, is that warp core going to be what is powering the memory statues or like transmitting the memories? Because if that is the case, I probably don't want to uninstall it. Any, I think, I think that's going to be a situation that I have to have a look at myself <laughs> to figure out. Anyway, anyway, I'm ready. I'm, I'm so ready. Went Ash Twin. Oh, I'm small. I'm small. High water. Thank you for chibbying me. Hello, hello, welcome. Right, let's see how this goes. First lift off. Time for me to hopefully not fly into either the sun or the Atoll Rock. <laughs> where is the Atoll Rock? I don't even know where it is, which scares me. I need to be down. Oh, I love the music. Oh, the music's so good. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk an autopilot here. We're going. But hi, I hope you're doing well. I hope everyone's had a lovely weekend. Yeah, see, the sand's already going. So knowing this, we know the direction the sand goes. So if I land on either end, I will know that my ship isn't going to get caught. Oh, I'm a, I'm a little woobly here. Like, we've got these towers here, and I'm pretty sure this is, like, the north and south. Or the east and west. Or the, the, the parts that aren't getting zooped up onto the other planet. <laughs> so if I land somewhere like this... Yeah, I got my suit. If I land, like, here, we should be safe from the... the path of sand when I want to get back to my ship. If I, if I ever get back to my ship. <laughs> and then now I'm, I'm going to follow this around. Oh, maybe I should have taken a nap for a bit longer, to be honest. I I think it's going to take a while to uncover the... the the warp... the warp floors. But, ah, oh, my, my little gentle boop landing. I'm, I'm proud of that landing. That's a, that's a good first landing for the stream. I feel that's a positive sign. <laughs> also, Ribbons, hello! Welcome, welcome. Lovely to see you. But yes, I hope everyone's had a good weekend. I've I've had a I've managed to be productive whilst also sleeping a lot this weekend. So it's been a good weekend for me. <laughs> I've caught up on so much sleep and I Oh, heaven knows I needed it. I was so tired. But uh, honestly, while my PC wasn't working, I couldn't sleep. Like Knowing that my PC was randomly shutting down all the time, I, I could not get any sleep. I couldn't sleep at all. And so I've just been so exhausted all week. And then I finally managed to get everything sorted. And I was doing a bunch of stress testing on Thursday to make sure everything was functioning as it should. All of the stress tests went fine. Everything was performing really well. Ah, oh, Vadonk, thank you for the follow! Welcome, welcome! Welcome in. <laughs> when you thought Outer Worlds couldn't get any better, tactical napping is an actual game mechanic. I love it! I love it! It's the kind of thing where I, I actually thought about it earlier in the week and I was like, wait, I'm so silly, I haven't even, like, utilized that. I did it once to see what it did and then I just didn't do it again. Ah, <laughs> uh, you were supposed to go to an event yesterday, but they wouldn't let you in even though you had a ticket? Wait, that seems so unfair. Why wouldn't they let you in if you had the ticket? Was it... Was it like a... Like, do they need ID as well or something like that? Oh, that's a shame though. I hope you've still managed to have a good time, even if you... Woo. I always forget how fast I move here, even if you couldn't go to the event. But, uh... And Frozen Fire, hello! You have not missed anything so far. I just, um... This is where I need to be. Is it? 
It's further down from here. This is this is the part I need. I'm here way too early. I'm here far too early because the ground I need is buried underneath all of the sand. So now I'm just going to have to wait for it to all clear up. <laughs> uh, but at least I know I'm in the right area so I can just like chill here for a bit. Wait for the sand to come around. And it gives me time to talk about what I've been doing <laughs> during the week as well. But yes, where was I? I... Yeah, I stress tested the heck out of my computer on Thursday. I was I was loading up like every single program I have at the same time whilst running an OBS stream test while talking to friends on Discord and playing Fortnite. <laughs> and it didn't shut down. So it went well. And yeah, that Thursday night, that was the best night's sleep I've had in so long. I slept so well. I fell asleep at like midnight. I woke up at like 10 a.m. I got like a solid 10 hours sleep. It was incredible. I felt alive. <laughs> I had actually managed to get some sleep. It was, oh, it was really, really nice. But yeah, now, now that my, I know my PC's working again, it's, yeah, the, the, the 10 hours of sleep was so incredible. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's made me realize how very, very tired I am. Very tired. Okay. Wonder if I can time this. If I stand under the bridge, can I, like, protect myself from the sand? I'm really low on oxygen. I didn't think this through. That's okay. Let's pray there's oxygen in Ash Twin. Right, if I go like, go like right now. Oh no, no, Ew. didn't work. Did not work. Didn't work. I tried. It did not work. Right, I know not to do that. I'm just on the wrong planet now. Yeah. All right. Well, I know not to do that. <laughs> Uh, I think I might actually meditate until the next loop and try again, but try something that's not that. <laughs> I'm going to meditate. I'm going to try and sleep just a little bit longer too. See if I can figure out the right timing to arrive there at the right time to try things out. I'm going to try and be efficient this time. Also, Gambler, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you for the prime. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Also, uh, there's a, a little rule I would like to add as well. It's um, something I, I forgot to mention until now. Um, I'm being featured on the, the Twitch homepage as part of the Together for Legendary Women? I think it's Legendary. Yes, because I wanted Xander to call me Legendary Liri and he refused. But uh, please don't comment on view accounts if you see them because I, I have them turned off. <laughs> And I would I would rather not know if there's a lot of people or like not many people. Like I'd rather have that like <laughs> the, the oblivion of not knowing because I've I've been looking back on my stream views and being like, oh, there's like a hundred people. I had no idea. And I'm also really glad I didn't know that while I was live, because I would have been very terrified. <laughs> but yes, if anyone wonders why the numbers are so high, that is why. Oh, and that's why you're here. Oh, I'm so glad you decided to to pop in. Like you, you saw me and thought, oh yeah, she seems pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, no need to apologize. I didn't actually mention it until now. Well, I mentioned being part of the the Legendary Women campaign because I think it's so cool. I think it's really nice that Twitch like actually let me in for a start. I was like, I'm just a little baby streamer. <laughs> but yeah, it's been really nice. But uh, welcome in. Oh, thank you for the hydrate too. I'll have a sip of my monster. But uh, yes, at the moment I'm trying to use the the warp panel on Ash Twin to hopefully get to like the core of Ash Twin. I'm presuming that's where it's going to lead. Please don't tell me if I'm wrong. The the no back seating, no spoilers. But that's my theory. So I'm hoping it'll go well. We will soon see. Oh, oh, and thank you for the haiku redeem as well. A hydrate haiku. 
a hydrate haiku. The first line was done for me. Thank you very much. That, that was a cop-out haiku, but it was a haiku, so... <laughs> Here we go. Monster energy. Maybe not most hydrating, but it tastes so good. There's my... There, there's the actual haiku. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. And Don 9 thank you for the follow as well. Thank you for sticking around. I hope you enjoy your time here. Scientist Leary on the case. We're, we're doing some experimenting now. And by experimenting, I mean, I'm gonna have a nap. I'm gonna try like five minutes? I don't know if that'll be too long. Cause I know the, the loops are 22 minutes from the, the, the information I found out. So I'm gonna try like five minutes. Oh, I'm big again. I'm no longer chibi. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm going to go for four minutes. This is taking too long. I'm, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Onwards. Onwards we march. Let's see if this makes things a little bit easier. But yeah, I've decided this time, like with how much time I wasted last week with silly things, I want to waste as little time as possible this time. I want to try and be efficient. It's probably not the most efficient. It's on the other side of the sun at the moment. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for it to come back around the sun. <laughs> oh wait, oh, maybe not? Maybe I can do it. No, this is like really close to the sun. It's making me nervous. I don't trust the sun. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, oh no, away, away from the sun. The oh, that's the sun station! Oh! I thought it was further away from the sun. I was wondering what it was then. Right, I'm just going to, like, float here, and I'm gonna hope I don't float too close to the sun. I want to stay away from the sun. I don't want to be close to the sun. Right, I need to come up now to be in line. Right, now that we're here... I think we can autopilot now. Yes, because it's coming back around this way. <laughs> How can I not trust the sun? It's so big and fiery. That's exactly why I don't trust it. Anyone who's been here knows my history with fire. I do not trust fire. Fire doesn't like me. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. I, I both love and hate that emote. <laughs> it's arson. Yeah, it's not arson, okay. it's Ignore that it pops up when the command happens. It's not arson. The fires just happen. The fires are not my fault. I don't know why the fires happen. It's, it's not my fault. I just... I just feel like they follow me around. <laughs> I'm just followed around by fire. It's it's not me causing the fires, I promise. I don't even like fire. I overheat too easily. I like cold weather. I like winter. It's I don't even know how the fire thing started. It's so funny. Considering how easily I overheat and malfunction in the heat, the fact that the, the fire thing has become a thing is genuinely so funny to me. Right, now I just need to find where... Okay, I think I'm right right in the path. Okay. I think this is where. <laughs> it is a really good question. I don't know how it started. I, I was trying to think about it the other day. The only thing I can think of is maybe a time in Borderlands when I had like a Fire Nova equipped or something like that. I genuinely don't remember the origin of the arson allegations. Oh, look, look, it's clear now. It's clear now. Now we just wait. Right, okay, so running in while the thing is happening does not work. Wait, there's like a roof here. Can I hide here until the exact moment and then just run? Like maybe like thrust her down and run? Hmm. Hmm. 
Uh, also, Yami Crystal, um, I, I'll allow that question at the moment because I have visited the Sun Station. But uh, please don't ask questions about if I have or haven't been somewhere because it could like accidentally end up being a spoiler. Like if you end up going, oh, have you been to the core of Giant's Deep where the orbital probe cannon is? Like, <laughs> like if I hadn't been there, then that would be a spoiler. But yes, I have been to the Sun Station. I actually had a really amazing moment. But oh yes, Gambler, please, please don't don't let me spoil you. Just ignore the words I am saying. Just they are all just random dis disconnected words. But yes, thank you for stopping in and thank you for resubbing too. But yes, and Melamea too. Welcome, welcome. I am I am making progress. I am making progress. But yeah, things are. I, I, I'm pretty sure I know what I need to do here, just not how to do it. <laughs> like, I clearly need to warp here. I need to warp here. But I don't know how to do it because there's a giant sand cyclone. So I'm just going to pray that if I go at the right moment and I keep, like, thrusting down, it might work. Also, Sparrow, hello! Welcome, welcome! Lovely to see you. I'm going to try it. I'm going to wait until it's, like, right in the middle. Okay, I'm going now. It worked. it worked! I'm so proud. I'm so proud right now. I'm so glad that worked. I didn't actually even notice that little alcove before. <laughs> but, oh, here we go, here we go. I, I paused because I was so... <laughs> so nervous. I'm going to have a sip of my drink, even though there's not a, there's not a hydrate. I'm doing my own hydrate. But here we are. Here we are! I'm so, oh, I'm so excited. This is, I'm pretty sure, like, a lot of information I need is going to be here. It's going to be so funny now if this ends up being a place with, like, a single log that's not important. But I I don't think it's going to be. I think it's going to be good. Also, JMC and Brushy, hello! Welcome, welcome. A sip to mentally prepare, that's what I'm doing. Right, okay. Oh, this is... This is wild. I need to make sure I don't jump here. I need to not jump here. <laughs> I need to remember to not jump here. Okay, what do we got? Okay, 10 minutes 36 seconds ago, received data from previous cycles. Uh, masks receiving data from probe tracking module, giant's deep memory statue, timber half memory statue. Oh! Oh, so it's, ooh. Yeah, if anyone wants to play this game, please don't watch me right now. This, this is the kind of game that has just been an absolute joy to play whilst not knowing anything about it. All I knew was that it was like in space when I went into it. I knew like one other minor, 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 tiny detail. But other than that, I was going into it not having any idea what was going to happen, except that I would love it. <laughs> And oh, it's it's just it's so rewarding. It's such a rewarding experience. If you want to play it, please don't spoil yourself, please. Uh, I can't believe I'm telling people to turn off my stream. This is <laughs> this is like the opposite of what a good sh streamer should do. But I'm just like, if if you don't want to be spoiled for this game, it's it's such a amazing experience. And oh my god, this music too. This music. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that meant that there were three statues when I saw the three masks. But no, the, it's, it's my statue, it's Gavro's statue, and it's the probe tracking module itself. Which makes sense when I, when I think back and think about all of the, the probes that were launched. And then they were launched in the wrong direction, send the data back, try again with the next loop. It makes a lot of sense that it's it's being stored in the mask, like. <laughs> but oh, I just oh, I can't wait until I finish this and I can watch other people play it as well. Uh, Twelve minutes until end of cycle transmission. Yeah, we got the twenty-two minutes there. Okay. Ship log updated. We got the masks. Which one is my mask? There's a thing here. The music is so loud. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff here. Actually, I think I have to turn the music down a little bit. It's very loud. 
And oh, I want to hear something cool about space news. Today, there's a severe geomagnetic storm heading across to us from a solar flare. Wow. I had no idea. It's, is, is it going to have any effect on anything? Or is it more just a fact that like it's happening, but it'll be okay? But uh, <laughs> the spoiler room. Hi, Harry Pupu. I'm so excited. I'm so excited now. The music's loud and good. Yeah, but I, I want to read things out. I'm going to turn it down just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Tiny bit. It is very loud. It's very epic. But I want to be able to read as well over the top of it. <laughs> But, oh, the music is incredible. Oh, remember to not look up stuff for the base game before playing the expansion. It's super easy to run into spoilers. Oh, yeah, I would fully expect that. I would fully expect that. I'm still not going to be looking things up until I'm done done. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, we might be able to see the Northern Lights tonight because of it. Wait, that is really cool. That's so cool. I had no idea about any of that. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> That's fascinating. Ooh. I love space. The largest solar flare recorded caused radio disruptions. Ah, uh, well, thankfully, I'm I'm not using the radio. <laughs> but that's that's so cool, though. Right, let's start reading. I'm so ready. Hi, Yarrow. Today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here, in this space we carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet: the Ash Twin project, powerful enough to send information back in time. We've also finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. Ooh. We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiments at the High Energy Lab. I still can hardly believe Rami's hypothesis was true. Oh, next one. Poke just sent the warp core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now, Ash Twin can be connected with Giant's Deep, where Cassifer is working with Avens to craft the Orbital Probe Cannon, and where Phlox is sculpting the memory statues. Hypothesis? It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis? The cores could have been forged faster if Cassifer had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. <laughs> oh, they're still at it, even... Even in a moment like this, I, I love the banter between them. This is great. The important point is we are all connected through Ash Twin now. And also that I am no longer needed for mediating your disagreements. <laughs> Poor Yarrow. All right. Our friends on Giant's Deep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Mallow tells me the cannon is doing well and that Avens advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avens can. But then, if anyone can goad a device into exploding, that too is likely Avens. Perhaps I should check in with the Orbital Probe Cannon crew in the interest of safety. Y Yarrow really is just here being the supervisor, like making sure that people aren't blowing things up. <laughs> Would it help to remind Avens that Mallow, his love, will be one of the Namai aboard the cannon, or is Mallow part of the problem? <laughs> Oh, I really love how you, you managed to learn so much about everyone's personality just through the, the notes they make. Phlox and Daz finished the memory statues today, and they are truly remarkable. When the Ash Twin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Yeah, it's exactly what I thought. It's every time they send off the probe, and it doesn't work, the information is sent back to the mask. The mask loads it, knows a different direction to send the orbital probe cannon in. That also explains why every time we wake up, it fires off in a different direction, because it's already been in the direction we saw last time. So it's trying a different one. That's, that's so cool. It's so cool. I love this. Pai and Idea have worked hard on the sun station, and it at last is complete. If everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt the sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power the Ash Twin project requires. Oh. Oh. 
I see. I see, that's... that's why it's only happening when the sun explodes. That... makes sense. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. Whew! Alright, next one. We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin project. Here is what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. Well, we know that doesn't work. But thankfully, the Sun's exploding naturally now, so... <laughs> okay, but now I can figure out what the plan is after the Sun exploding. Right, using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin Project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ash Twin Project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. Okay, yeah, if things had gone as they planned, they would be able to end the cycle whenever they wanted by simply not sending the order to the sun to explode. However, it didn't work like that and the sun is exploding anyway, so... Is everything just kind of doomed? Is that... Is that what I'm meant to be gathering from this? I... I... Ugh. These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. Suppose we redesign the Sun Station. To generate power of that magnitude, a supernova is still our only viable option. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope! This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the Sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer, Odea, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. Ugh, have, have you tried... Have you tried waiting on the quantum moon? <laughs> you might die, and, but you might also be alive at the same time and not aged, so... Um, hmm. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ash Twin Project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. If there was, they didn't find it. <sighs> we are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system, and we're anxious to explore it. Oh no. <laughs> Much Talos 1 vibes. Oh, it really is. It's like... Preparing for the end of the world... Is... is always... Gonna be such a... it's such a... Oof. I, <laughs> also, uh, I saw the Tetromino drop on my head, and I was... I was wondering if the chat message was gonna be about Talos. <laughs> The project of civilization. Oh, I I really want to replay Talos 1 again, though. I shouldn't, because I have so many other games I need to play, but I, I really want to. It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. <laughs> no, I hate this. I hate this. Okay, so they were doing all of this project. They took a, a small break to go and explore the the interloper the interloper exploded and ghost matter flew across the entire solar system and made the namai go extinct and now i'm here what happened how did how did the the hearthians mm. I have a wild theory. I have a wild theory that maybe at that moment, the Harthians, like, we were still in our evolutionary tadpole stage. And maybe it wouldn't have affected us as much. I don't know. I, I want more information about that, but I... Well, Timber Hearth Projection Stone, here we go. Ah. Uh... Play it in VR if I get a chance. Oh, I would love to. I would love to do so much stuff in VR, but sadly I, I don't have a VR headset. I want to though, I want to one day. My gratitude for the latest shipment, oh I know. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check to ensure that there are no longer any physical entrances. Rami and I will 
be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks, our final safety check. This is exciting news! Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you could. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin Project could lead to disaster. Ooh. All right. Let's check out Brittle Hollow. I have good news, Yarrow. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ash Twin project is excited to see it. Pi is beside herself with joy. Wait, hold on. Uh, it's ready to be installed. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yarrow. The core is finished. And if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully clever. Oh, it's, oh. The fear of, like, no, it's not ready. I need more time. I fully understand that. Oh, there's another one. Giant's Deep. Okay, I've got to check everything now. I wonder if there's going to be more of them. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project, Phlox. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. Right, so we, we got the equipment failure activation. Good to know. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Yeah, that is a little horrific to think about. Right, the ones that I've looked at, I'm going to put them all on the floor. Right, because there was the... Yeah, the the ground thing to put them in. Right, I'll take I'll take one with me to start with. It's got like oh oh. Okay, I think we start. I think we start here. Now that I know how to get here, I think we start by reading all of these or like viewing all of these over here. I want to view all of these. All right, Timber Hearth Projection Stone. Where is this? Oh, this is in the statue workshop! Of course. Of course it is. Right, I think we're going to see all of these. I think these are these are places we've already seen. I like I remember seeing the mask projections several times, but I want to I want to check anyway, just in case I see something special. Right, no, no, this is the statue workshop. The other one was, um... Blah, blah, blah. Where was the other one? I'll check in a second. I want to check this one. Right, this is the Brittle Hollow one. Oh, that little, that little, like, jump whenever I <laughs> turn around like that is terrifying. And, yeah, Brittle Hollow, where is, oh, this is the, have I been here? It's like the, the very, oh no, this is the top, isn't it? I don't think I've been to this place. I don't know. I don't remember. I know where it is. It's in the Hanging City. Hmm. All right, let me let me look at the Timber Hearth one again. Oh no, this is in the Mining Caves. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. I, th I feel like I remember the... 
Yeah, yes, I think it is. Yeah, this is where they were mining all of the ores out. Okay. Uh, ba -ba. Okay, right. I've had a look at that. Let's continue on now. Uh, I'm, I'm using this loop as like an exploration loop. I want to figure out what's going on here. I want to get all of the information. All right, what is that? Artificial gravity control. I want to keep that on, I think. Right, now what happens? What happens if I do this? What does this say? That's not what I meant to do. I need to get closer. Uh, you are about to access the core while the Ash Twin project is active. Removing the core will just... <laughs> ah. I don't think I want to disable the Ash Twin project. Okay. Okay, I think... I think I know what I have to do. And I really don't like it. <laughs> I think I know what I have to do, and I'm absolutely terrified. And I'm not going to do it on this loop. I'm not doing it on this loop. I don't think I have enough time. I've spent a lot of time walking along, reading, figuring things out. I think I'm going to have to get here as quickly as I can. And I'm going to have to get that warp core from here to the vessel. Before the loop ends. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, this is scary. This is scary. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> right. Uh, d d d d just the end of the universe. No, no big deal, right? No big deal. I'm sure it'll all be fine. Also, Gigi, thank you for the reset for 25 months. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness, this this game is incredible and terrifying. Right, what what should I do with my remaining time? I think I'm going to go back to my ship and have a look at my logs. Let me down, thank you. Wah. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Here we go, look, it's... It has an image now. We've, we've got an image for the Ash Twin project. The Ash Twin project, a hollowed out chamber inside Ash Twin. The energy cables from the surface are plugged into a protective casing at the center of the planet. There are eight monoliths with Nomai masks attached. Three of the masks are actively receiving data from the probe tracking module, Giant's Deep and Timber Hearth, respectively. Yeah, one is me, one is Gabbro, one is the orbital probe cannon. Uh, the Ashtrim project was designed to use the energy from a supernova triggered by the sun station to send probe data from the orbital probe cannon 22 minutes into the past. The sun station did not work. Although the Ash Twin project was theoretically sound, the Nomai were unable to power it. There is an advanced warp core inside the protective casing at the center of the planet. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project. I don't want to disable it. This is... This is scary. This is terrifying. This is a moment where I'm really tempted to back up my save file right now. <laughs> I don't think I need to. I don't think the game would, like, soft lock me out like that. But I, hmm. right. So yeah, it's like, it's the the vessel is the important part. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to take that warp core to the vessel. But I, I know how awful that route to the vessel is. I. I hate those anglerfish. Right, I wonder how much longer is left in this loop. I don't know. Let's let's try going to uh, Dark Bramble. <laughs> I might not even make it there in time, but let's let's try going to Dark Bramble and testing my um my skills in maneuvering. Of course it's on the other side of the sun. Uh, oops. Of course, of course I crashed into a planet. Oopsie. Let me fix that. You didn't see that? It's fine. Yeah, practice run time. <laughs> I need all the practice runs I can get. I am not launching right now. 
This is the absolute... I'm not launching when the sun is right above me. Yeah, the sun's very red. I don't think I'm going to have time for this. But I can at least try. I might just fly into the sun, to be fair. It's very possible. Very likely. Anyway, let's... Let's see. I might be able to dip a toe into Dark Bramble and nothing else. Oh, but one thing I can do, I sh probably shouldn't get out of the seat while it's autopiloting, but one thing I can do is I can mark that as a location to head to so I don't have to worry about sending my scout out. So a part of me is wondering if I might be able to use my scout to distract the anglerfish. <laughs> That's my current plan. I'm like, can I... Oh no, this is... I'm really bad at, like, maneuvering Dark Bramble with my ship, I'm very bad at. I'm gonna try my best. I'm just gonna float along. We're floating along. We know we go towards the orange one. Do I go towards the orange one? I think I do. <laughs> I'm just not even going to use my thrusters. I'm just going to like float as much as I can. In the hopes that an anglerfish won't decide to crunch on the delicious snack that is me. Oh. Is that, is that a oh, that's an anglerfish. Okay, I'm, we're floating. We're floating. You don't see me. You don't see me. I'm not here. I'm not here. You're blind. You can't hear me. I'm not here. I'm floating so slowly. This is bad. I think I can beat it. I can't... No, I can't beat it. I'm gonna get eaten. Just, okay, eat me. Okay, well, I tried, and I know what not to do. <laughs> but I'm actually thinking my best way of maneuvering through here might be to just leave my ship behind. I don't know if that's a good idea. But I think I want to try it. And actually, what I want to do now... Uh, please forgive me for a second, because I'm going to... exit to the main menu for a second. <laughs> now that I've got all of the logs... and the information I have... I'm, don't mind me, I'm just gonna very quickly back up my save file. Just in case. Just in case. Let me put that on. Just in case. Hopefully I won't need to, hopefully it won't be a problem. But just in case, to be very, very safe, I am going to back up my save. App data. Where is it? It's. Mobius Digital, Outer Wilds, Steam Saves. Let me very gently back all of this up. Just to make sure. I like to be safe. I don't trust anything anymore. Trust nobody, not even yourself. <laughs> also, OmniLinks, please. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Welcome in. I'm, I'm, I'm being very, very careful here. I'm very scared. I don't trust myself at all. <laughs> okay. Okay, save files backed up. First thing I'm going to do I getting getting to the Ash Twin project was way easier than I thought it would be. So we're gonna start by doing some practice runs of Bra uh, Dark Bramble. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm so bad at getting through Dark Bramble. I'm doing some practice runs. We we need to make a plan of action. I gotta make sure. <laughs> I'm so scared. 
And Artem, hello, welcome, welcome. Welcome in. And oh, you found me on YouTube and love the playthrough, so you've been waiting for a chance to catch me live. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying it too. Hold on, I, I broke something. No, I didn't break it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I'm so glad you've been enjoying it. I've been having such a blast playing it too. You've joined at a great time. I'm about to do a bunch of test runs uh, in Dark Bramble to try and get to the vessel safely in preparation for um, this. <laughs> Because I do not want to destroy the project while I'm relying on it. Oh. Okay. Right, where are you, Dark Bramble? Right, it's time. It's time for the Dark Bramble test runs. I'm not looking forward to this. Did I put my suit on? Yes, I did. Okay. All right, off we go. If things start getting too hard and I start struggling, we'll go back and try and figure out the quantum caves nonsense. But for now, Dark Bramble. There we go. Let's go. Yes. Oh, you adhere to a 100% no spoiler policy. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. I, I think it's like, it's the kind of situation where... I don't mind talking about things once I've discovered them, but in a game like this, it's so easy to accidentally spoil things by just presuming that somebody might know something that they maybe haven't figured out yet. So yeah, that's why I have the, the very strong no spoilers rule, but I am so excited for when I finally finish this to to be able to, to, to start theorizing and stuff, because I've still got the DLC after this as well. I'm gonna just leave my ship here. Boop. I'm out. I don't know where I am. Oh, my ship just went flying in. Okay. Wait, did I not set the vessel as my location? Hold on, let me back in my ship. It might not have saved it because I quit the main menu. It did not. There we go. Okay, thank goodness I didn't leave my ship fully behind. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I'm I'm going out on my own. I'm going out on my own and I'm very scared. I'm pretty sure it's not the white one. Yes, that's the one. But I know there's an anglerfish nearby as well, so I gotta be careful. I gotta be very quiet. It's right there. Oh my god. You can't hear me. You can't hear me. You can't hear me. I'm not here. Oh my god. How dare you? How dare you? Oh my god. I just jumped a mile. Can I do like a tiny bit? No. You don't hear me. No, it heard me. I cannot. I can't do that. I need to approach it from a different angle, I think. I was right in front of its mouth there. That was not the best place to be. I should have just kept floating. But oh my god. Okay. I jumped a mile. I nearly threw my controller. I I'm really glad I had a good grip on my controller, because I if if I had not been holding onto it as firmly as I was, I would have thrown it. It would have been thrown. <sighs> right, let's try that again. <laughs> Imagine if they put proximity chat exclusively for that. That would be so mean. That'd be so mean. You have to, like, genuinely be quiet in the game. Oops. Helps if I buckle up. All right. Step away for a minute. We're back on Timber Hearth. Yeah, I am. I'm trying to get through Dark Bramble. As you can tell, it's, it's going very well. And I'm definitely not being eaten by every anglerfish. <laughs> A little close to the sun, but I think it'll be okay. 
yeah, I think it'll be all right. Ha! Huh. But yes, I am. I am. I'm. I'm not just a snack. I'm the whole meal. <laughs> I'm the whole meal, baby. Anglerfish just takes a bite out of me, and it. it there's just monster energy running through my veins. <laughs> Right. I think if I can get the momentum before I start, like, free floating, I'll be safe. But if I try and use the thrusters when I'm right next to the anglerfish, it's going to hear me. Right. Oh, actually, this might be a good time to test one of my ideas. can find an anglerfish because my idea is to use my scout as a distraction but I don't know if it'll be loud enough no, it doesn't seem to care All right, we're gonna wiggle around in the wiggliest wiggle around way to avoid this at all costs. We're going from a completely different angle. <laughs> so that I can stay away from that anglerfish. Oh, I really hate this. <laughs> I really hate all of Dark Bramble. Now's the worry. Because the anglerfish is like right there. I'm just going to be so quiet. I'm just going to be really quiet. I'm super quiet. I'm really, really quiet. So quiet, you can't hear me. Oh, I really, really hate. Stop that! Oh my, oh my, you're awful. You're all awful, how dare you? Oh my God, I'm holding my breath the whole time. I'm just... Oh, this is where you put a montage of me getting eaten repeatedly while playing yakety sax. That, that would, that would be really good. Okay, I'm gonna go really fast. I'm not going very fast. Okay, oh my God, this is awful. This is really bad. doing like the tiniest tiny bits of thrust that I can like eight the absolute smallest <sighs> oh, every time there's a sound okay. is that one also an anglerfish yes it is this is really bad this is awful this is terrible Can I go at like the absolute smallest thrust amount? I'm, I am so scared. Oh my god, I can't even imagine doing this with with the warp core. What, like, what the heck? What the heck? How am I gonna do this? This is taking me like a million years. It's terrible. Am I far enough away from them now? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm going. Let me in. Okay. Okay, and there aren't any anglerfish in here. Okay, I made it. I made it. I have just got to be so careful. I just have to be the most careful. 
Oh, oh, I love the music here, though. Okay, what is this? Can I do anything here? No, I don't think there's anything I can do here. There's, there's going to be a lot of stuff here that I can't do until I've powered it, I think. Oh my god, this is... Oh. way in again. I need to remember how to get in. Follow the blue lights, mayhap? Oh, around like here, maybe. Okay, first successful <laughs> scout. <laughs> and then how do I get in? Up here? Oh, up here, maybe. Yeah, this is an entrance. It's, yeah, it's all, it's all been, this whole thing's been destroyed. Yeah, I, I got in so easily last time to, like, the main area. I <laughs> How did I get in? Well, I guess that's part of the challenge, too. It's, like, somewhere around here. Fuel level critical, thanks. That's all right. I made it here. That's that's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm just very lost. <laughs> very lost and low on fuel. I guess I just keep heading towards the point that says the vessel 200, 200 odd meters away. <laughs> All right, don't don't use oxygen as a propellant, please. Okay, yeah, well, I managed to get here, and that is good. So I am going to meditate now, and I'm gonna have a tiny break because I think I know what I need to do, and I'm absolutely terrified, and I need a second to calm down and gather my thoughts and stop jumping over trumpets and vine booms. <laughs> so I'm going to meditate and we're going to try and find that quantum cave. I, I I have like two theories on how to get there. Also, Timochi, hello! And Goliath, lovely to see you. Welcome, welcome. Welcome in. Wow. Wow, indeed. I'm going to try and find the quantum cave final log. My two theories are I either hot foot it there immediately and go to like the bottom chasm of Ember Twin, or it's going to be in the Sunless City and I have to go da like down a sand fall or something. I'm gonna try just going straight into the cavern to begin with. Let's go like this, we we'll go like this. I'll mark the lake bed cave on my hood oh we're in late game we are in the the latest late game i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure this is like end game late game yes please please run away <laughs> run away if you don't want spoilers i'm at like super end game now uh thankfully you have not you you didn't come in while i was looking at like big big spoilers but yes please if, if you want to play this do not look i am very very close to the end now <laughs> But yeah, there's a really big story. It's such a good story. But yeah, thank you for stopping in either way. Uh, avert your gaze. I'm going to fly off now. <laughs> it's really, really good, though. It's so good. I fully, fully recommend it. Also, Nathan, hello. Welcome, welcome. All right. Off I go. I'm just going to zoom. I'm just going to zoom as fast as I can. That's the wrong twin. There we go. Probably gonna crash me into the moon. I don't care. We're going! There we go. Right, accelerating. Oh, Isonia, hello, welcome! Apparently Twitch seems to think I'm a legendary woman. Yeah, I am! It's. I think it's very nice that Twitch thought that as well. I'm very... I'm honored to be part of the, the list. Like, I've seen so many really cool streamers in the, the legendary women category, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm amongst them. It's so good. 
But yeah, I am currently playing a game called Outer Wilds. It is a, like, discovery exploration... I would, I would say puzzle. I would say puzzle. It's, it's definitely puzzle oriented. I'm just gonna run, ditch my ship. I wanna go down to the very bottom. Helps if I have my flashlight. I feel like there's going to be something like at the very bottom where I can maybe explore. I'm, I'm stuck in like a, a flying loop at the moment. Ow! I landed a bit harder than I meant to. Okay, it's like the lake bed cave is like here. If there's gonna be a way in, it's gonna be like... Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm... I'm... Uh, let me up, let me up. Oh no. Yeah, this isn't the spot I wanted to be for this. And I'm a little bit hurting. But I feel like... It's either going to be something, like, along here before it all fills up with sand, or it's going to be, like, I go into the Sunless City. Find a way there. I think I'm about to get smothered by sand. <laughs> There's the sand! No, I'm going around. I'm not seeing anything at the moment, so maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I don't see anything here. Ow. And there's my ship. Yeah, I've, I've done like a full loop now. I've, I've not seen anything. So maybe it's not those. Genuinely can't see anything. It's so dark. Oh, I probably should have repaired my ship while I was out there. <laughs> Oopsie. But yeah. Orbiting inside the planet. Yeah, I, I was in the orbit as well there. But uh, also I would like to say as well, if anyone likes the look of this game and wants to play it, I am very close to endgame at the moment. I am in very fierce spoiler territory. So if you think you want to play it, it's the kind of game that is so incredible to play without spoilers. Like, I fully recommend going into it blind, not looking anything up, because it is just such an incredible experience to go through. It's so good. I don't want to know if there's any other little caverns I might be able to get in. I don't think there are. Yeah, I think I maybe go Sunless City approach. Try and see if there's a way I can like drop down from there. Unless I arrive early and like I just came to the the center what if i like approach it from the other side like okay where's my ship my ship is probably buried <laughs> let's have a look let's have a look ow 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 owie it hurts <laughs> oh the pain bum, bum, bum. heal me heal me up <laughs> Oh, I forgot to repair the hole as well. Hold on. Where is it? Where? Where's this part I need to repair? Is it this bit? Is it this bit? It's that bit. Okay. There. Okay. Ship's repaired. And, oh, someone have a checklist of stuff I've seen yet? Oh, that would be really good. I, I should have thought about that. Like, make a checklist after every stream I've done. But, um, I've, I've discovered a lot so far. I've found many things. If you want to have a look here, um, there's one log here that's not really important because I figured out the rule, but I want to find the log anyway. And at the moment, I am currently at the point of trying to get this up and running. <laughs> I think I've found most other important stuff. I've I've done a lot of exploring. This is a, a late a late game stream, but I'm I'm having such a blast with this. It's such an incredible experience. I can't see. Where am I? Who knows? 
Alright, can I get my shit? Wait, what was that? Wait, what's with all the cactus there? Hold on. Hold on a second. Curiosity. Uh, is my computer doing okay? No, it is. I had to buy a new PSU. Like, the PSU ended up being the problem. I didn't think it would be because I bought a really good PSU and I've only had it for, like, a year and a half. So it a little sad that it stopped working as, as quickly as it did. But thankfully it is all up and running now and it's not shut down since. I saw, like, a little cavern with cacti somewhere around here. There! Oh no, that's just- oh no, that's just the bit inside the Sunless City part. Ow! Oh goodness, this is really bad. Yeah, that's just the part inside the Sunless City. Where you can get oxygen. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm amazed I am not dead. How <laughs> how have I survived? Is the old PSU not under warranty? It is under warranty! And I'm going through the warranty stuff, but it's like if I'd waited for that, if I'd waited for it to be replaced through that, I'd have like days without my computer. And I just wanted it up and running as quickly as possible, so I bought another PSU. But hopefully it means like once I've got my PSU that's like under warranty. Once I get that back, I might be able to just sell it, because I'm pretty sure that there's ways of selling it with the warranty with it. I don't know. We will see. We will see. But yeah, I'm just really glad everything's working again. Also, Joy Boy Operator, hello! What program do I use? Um, I use a program called VTube Studio. Uh, you need to have your own Live 2D model already. For it, you need to have an artist to to draw it and a rigger to, to rig it up to make it move if you want to use that but that's the program I use and I have a model that is drawn by my wonderful friend Addy hold on where's my little command I've lost the button there's the button <laughs> yes oh Nathan837 thank you so much for the follow too welcome welcome Glad you're deciding to stick around. Thank you. It's it's always nice when someone says hi and then also drops a follow too. It, it makes me feel like I'm doing something right. But yeah, I hope you enjoy your time here. Thank you for deciding to stick around. Hopefully you're enjoying the uh, <laughs> me um, making lots of mistakes. Do I try again? I feel like there's a lot of sand here already now. It might not be worth trying again. I'm going to exit and have a look around uh, like the lake bed cave is around here i want to see what's on the opposite side of where all the sand falls like i'm wondering it helps if i turn my flashlight on i'm wondering if there's going to be a way that i can get in from a different direction like where does this lead down to Does this lead anywhere special? I don't know if I've followed this path. <laughs> and Lord Phil, hello! How are we doing today? Um, I've been eaten by many anglerfish, but I've also found a warp core, which I proceeded to not touch because I am terrified. <laughs> but I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what I have to do. I've been trying to do some test runs through Dark Bramble to know what I'm doing. But, um, it's, it's a little scary. But I'm having a blast. It's going well. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're enjoying watching, too. I'm, I'm enjoying playing, too, so... If other people are also enjoying the ride, it makes it even better. Right, there's, there's so many, like, paths and caverns around here. And it makes me wonder if there's going to be a secret path that leads down to this cave. I can find somewhere. Right, yeah, this just leads, like, back inside where the Sunless City is and stuff. Might be worth going. Might be worth heading in here. Oh, that was a cacti. Right. 
So yeah, this is yeah, this is just into the Sunless City. Let's let's head inside. Oh no, I remember where this is. Yes. I cannot go in through here. Wait, could this be the cave though? Ooh. I don't know, a lot of the caves look very similar around here. Like this cave is ow! I just I just ran into that. It was right next to me. <laughs> oh, I'm jump scaring myself now. This is terrible. Okay, so I can't get in from this direction. I could just blast myself into space if I wanted though. Uh, what's the game about? It is about being in space and exploring and discovering things and so many other things that I can't even begin to explain. There is there is so much in this game. It is so clever and so well made and so emotional. Emotionally investing. It's 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 a really good game. Like if you if you take a look at it and think you want to play it, I recommend going in with as little information as you can get. Like don't look things up. Just go into it and like having no idea what's going on. It's so so good. It's been such a beautiful beautiful journey of exploration and discovery. It's mostly the discovery. The discoveries have been wow. incredible. Yeah, I think it's probably too late for me to do anything now, but hmm. Let's see if I can head in. Let's see how high up the sand's gone. Eight. I might still be able to get inside. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, I remembered which way to go. Yet again. No, that's full up. Yeah, no, I'm not getting in here. <laughs> it is too late to get in here. I'm, I'm not getting in. This is too late. It is much too late to get in there now, so... What the heck do I do now? I think I might just read my ship logs for a little bit. If I can... <laughs> if I can get back to my ship, of course. I always forget how little gravity there is here. I just go flying. <laughs> also, thank you for all the sound alerts and also the head pat. Okay, here's my ship. Woo! Is there anything else here? Hold on. Let's have a cheeky little look. Oh no, this is where the where the warp is, isn't it? Yeah, this is the the warp spot. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Which is not active because I didn't warp here. Whoop. Right, let's get in the ship and have a. Have a look. At Minlogs. I'm pretty sure a lot of the stuff... Yeah, it's like everything here is like linked to the orbital probe cannon, the probe tracking module. Hey, what was the construction yard? Yeah, that's, that's also about the orbital probe cannon. Yeah, it's- I know what I have to do now, I'm just scared. Yeah, oh, I wonder if the gravity gets lower as it loses sand. That's really interesting to think about. I could imagine it would. Right, I don't know what to do. I wonder how far in the loop we are. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'm not- I'm not gonna blast myself into the sun. I might- I might go back to Timber Hearth. Because I've discovered so many things and I've not... really talked to anyone since learning those things. So it might be nice... away from the sun. Might be nice to go home. And spend a spend a nice little bit of time on home before I start doing all the stressful stuff again. Please don't be too close to the sun, please. Please. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I'm flying. <laughs> oh, hey, I think the quantum moon's there as well. Nice. Well, I've already been there plenty, so... It's fine. It's fine. Perfect landing. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. Ship is fine. Perfect landing. Okay. Let's have a stroll until the sun explodes. <laughs> gonna have a stroll until the sun explodes and then I think I'm gonna focus on... I'm gonna try and do the thing. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try very hard, I'm gonna try and do the thing, and I'm very scared that everything's gonna go wrong, but I'm I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna be brave and powerful. <laughs> right, I'm really curious as to whether there's more like under here, like where all the mining stuff was happening beneath the surface where we found the, the history of the evolution of Harthians. I've not really, like, explored on here before. Okay, it's pretty fun to just jump around, to be honest. But then what if I... Down I go. Oh, there's a raid! Hi raiders, welcome! Oh goodness, I can't see anything. Welcome there raiders! I don't know what's happening. Welcome, hi. Where am I? Where am I? Where have I ended up? I'm... I'm going. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. <laughs> oh, oxygen refilled. I'm just going up and down at the moment. Okay. Aha! I'm down here now. I'm, I'm off somewhere else again. Never mind. Okay. Okay. I've landed. I've landed. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here! I'm not getting shunted underground! <laughs> Dabshu, hello! Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Thank you for the raid! Come on in, raiders! Welcome! to um, me playing Outer Wilds. Um, if anyone has an interest in playing Outer Wilds and you're, you want to check this game out and see how things are going, do not um, watch what I'm doing. I am very end game, so there's going to be spoilers. There, there will be many spoilers abound. But uh, if you're not interested or you just, you've already played it or you just want to stick around anyway, uh, welcome in! To anyone who's new here, hello! I'm Liri, I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games, and I am currently playing a very puzzle-oriented uh, exploration discovery game called Outer Wilds, and it is one of the most incredible games I've ever played. I love this game so much, it's so good. It's really, really good. But yes, thank you for bringing the raid in! I hope you had a good stream! I hope you had a nice time. Right, I'm gonna try and just get myself sent out again. I, I wanna be free. Get me out of here, please. Okay, I'm free. I've been freed. Okay, I'm out. Ow. Ow, it's okay. It's okay, it was just a tap. It's just a little tap. But uh, welcome, welcome. Welcome in Grammy Raid. I hope your stream went well. If you if you have to head off and rest or get food or a drink, that is absolutely fine. But if you want to stick around for a bit, uh, I'm I'm mostly procrastinating at the moment because I I'm pretty sure I know what I have to do next, and I'm very scared. I'm very nervous to to know how it's gonna go. I'm so scared. But uh, I'm also really excited. I think I'm. I'm at a, like a really end game point at the moment. I don't know if I have anything else to discover except for what I know I have to do. But we'll soon see. I love how I said I'll come back here and talk to people and I've, I've not talked to a single person. <laughs> I've just shunted myself around underground. 
I landed very far away from all of the people. Right, let's see if I can find somebody. Oh, this game honestly confuses you, but a lot of people say good things about it. Oh, it's such a good game. It's the kind of game where I can definitely understand being confused about it, but it's the more you play and the more you discover and find out, the more it all like pieces together, like the most gloriously perfectly made jigsaw puzzle. And then you get to a point where you're just like, oh my goodness, everything makes so much sense. Oh, here we go. It's nearly nearly the end beginning of the end guess it's because you don't understand what i'm doing well the basic premise is uh if you want to avoid spoilers entirely don't listen but if you are confused uh you start on an island called timber half you are a hearthian which are uh creatures with they're, they're people with like four eyes four ears like sticking out ears and you are the newest recruit for the the space exploration team planet what did i say what did, what did i say instead of planet <laughs> island <laughs> i mean it's we are we are stranded in a, an, an endless sea of we are a tiny island in a sea of space but uh yeah it's it's a planet called timber hearth you are a hearthian you're the newest member of the exploration team and you're going off to explore that's all you're given to begin with and it's all you need. It's all you really need to to start the game. And then like the more you play, the more stuff you discover. And it it's 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 just really clever. It's just really good. It's a really good game. And and then, then this happens. Look how pretty it is. It's so pretty. I need refuel. <laughs> Oh dear, look at that. That doesn't look so great. But yeah, it's, it's all just about discovery, finding things out. But the story it lays out is, it's so, so good. It's, it's really, I, I fully, I 100% recommend it. It's, if, if you're willing to go into it not knowing anything, that's the best way to do it. Like, go into it not knowing what's going on. It makes it so much more fun. Ugh. Okay, I'm awake. Right, do I try and do the thing? Do I want to try and do the thing? Uh, anyone who's joining now, this is massive endgame spoiler territory. I'm going to try and do some endgame spoilery things. So, if you, if you have, like, just, like, the slightest thought of, oh, I might check this game out, please... Um, avert your eyes. <laughs> Cover your ears. It's it's so worth playing it without spoilers. It's really, really good. But, uh... Oh, you can roast marshmallows, too. Delicious. Mwah. They're crunchy. <laughs> I think I might want to try and do the thing. I'm so scared. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Let's have a nap. Let's, let's do the... Let's do three minutes. Give me time to get there and wait. <laughs> oh, actually, I ended up waiting a little bit anyway for it for the planet to be in range. So maybe I, I go like five minutes. But yeah, this is it's such a good game. I'm going four again. <laughs> I like the four minutes. Oh, it sounds so nice here. All right, I'm going. I am going to try and do the thing. I'm very scared. But yeah, it's the kind of game where, like, I went into it to begin with, and I was also like, I'm not sure if this would be my kind of game or not. Oh, I landed on the planet again. Oopsie. I think it's going around the wrong side of the sun. I'm 
I'm getting pulled back into the atmosphere here again. Of course I am. Okay, I'm going to get closer and then I'm going to try and line up. Let's do it now. Let's try this. But yeah, it's, it's really... It's worth the wait. It's worth the confusion to begin with. No, I bought autopilot. It's the other side of the sun. I don't want to be here. 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 I do not want to be here. Okay. 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 Okay, we're around the sun. <laughs> I went way further than I should have. I was just so scared of the sun. <laughs> but it's it's the kind of game where it's as soon as you like as soon as it grabs you, you are so invested in it. It's really really clever. It's so good. Okay, I'm pretty sure I see where I need to be as well. Oh, can I get there in time? Oh, the, the sand is already coming around. I, I might miss it. You know what I'm doing? No, I'm doing... No, okay, that just killed me. <laughs> that was too fast. I thought I might be able to just crash my ship and crawl out. But that... Wow. No, that was too fast. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to rest. I'm going to just take it really slowly. I'm going to wait. I'm going to go to Ash Twin immediately. I'm going to wait really patiently. I, I would rather spend a long time there and do it at a relaxed pace than try and, like, skip through and rush it, I think. I love how to begin with I was like, oh, I'm going full efficiency, but now I am just scared. Now I'm just a scared baby. I'm just gonna go there as soon as fast. As soon as fast. As soon as possible. As fast as possible. No Mallow Loop? No, I, ha I had two last time, so... This one will be fine. Alright, off we go. We're, we're just gonna have a... A very, a very calm, relaxing time standing on the surface of Ash Twin. It's gonna be great, trust me. Overshooting it. Okay. Still a little fast, but I think I can land. Oh yeah, look at that. See, that's how we do it. A bad omen? Did you see what happened when I just had two marshmallows? If that is not a bad omen, then I don't know what it is. It's alright, I'm, I'm already marshmallowed. I need to make sure I've, I'm not concentrating on marshmallows. Getting distracted by marshmallows. Yeah, honestly, I'm really proud of that landing. I'm... Uh, I'm so happy with how that turned out. Now we wait for the sand to start. We're here before the sand's even started. That was so fast. The sand isn't even being sucked up yet. Look at that. Before the sand cycle even begins. There we go. Oh, there's the start. That is how it begins. That, this is wild. That's so cool. Right, it's time to wait. <laughs> Follow it around a bit until things start emerging. Going on a little journey. And I know where my ship is as well when I need to refill my oxygen. Oh, look at that though. It's so cool being able to see this from here as well. I wish I could figure out that loop, but okay. <laughs> Off we go. Something is emerging. Aha! The first the first tower is emerging. Also, Suzume, hello! Welcome, welcome! Welcome in Raiders! Thank you for the raid! Gay Wolf Raid! Streaming Fragile Feelings. Oh, I've seen that game. That is also a game. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in. 
to anyone who's new here, hello! I'm Liri, I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and at the moment we're going on a little... a little sand hike. It's gonna take probably 10 minutes, because I think it was 10 minutes when I got there before, so, um... Who's ready for a 10 minute walk? <laughs> I don't know, I feel like it gives me time to chat. Time to just have a little chat, have a little... chill, relaxing wander. As we run across the entire surface of this planet. <laughs> oh, that's a bit fast, that's a bit fast. Right, the gravity's at 0.6 at the moment. I think it was 0.7 before, so I think... Oh, 0.5? 0.6, okay. Interesting. We got a beach day. <laughs> it tells a story about the anglerfish. I don't have any stories about the anglerfish. It just ends in, um, I saw an anglerfish. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Like, I know what I should be doing. But it's always... It's always just actually being able to do what I want to do. Like, I'll have the idea and be like, I know exactly what I have to do here, but having the actual ability to do that is, <laughs> is the problem. Like, like the situation I had on the sun station, like that, I'm pretty sure that was 100% a fluke. And I don't think I would be able to replicate that. But, ah, uh, finished cute sapphic novel by, visual novel by Ebi Hime. <gasps> Ebi Hime makes such amazing visual novels. I'm so glad you had a good stream and thank you for bringing the raid this way. And, uh, if you, if you want to stick around, you're welcome to join on my little, uh, sand walk. <laughs> But if you have to get some rest or get some food and drink, then that is absolutely fine. Uh, also, uh, if you said something that could be misconstrued as a spoiler, uh, please, please don't argue with the mods. Please just nod and go along with it. It's, <laughs> it's, please, there's, there's no reason to get defensive because it's not like you're not in trouble or anything. It's more just, I want to avoid any situation where things might possibly get spoiled in some way. It's, it's more like a precaution than anything else. Oh, I have three minutes oxygen. Okay, well, I know where I need to be now. Where's my ship? It's like, other side of the planet, I think. Yeah, it is. Okay. I know which direction I'm going now, though. So that is good. Let's go refill on oxygen. <laughs> Also, Kotsa Kolkos, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for, for stopping in and following. Hope you enjoy your time here. I'm gonna move my ship a tiny bit if I can. Just a little bit. Like, here maybe. It's not gonna stop, is it? Well, off it goes. Whee! <laughs> Right, and this is where I need to be. Wait, is this the right one? Yes, this is where I need to be. I should also put my flashlight on. Yeah, now I just wait. Now I just wait for the sun. <laughs> Don't crash my computer. Oh, no, I'm fine with the ship crashing. If my computer crashed, I would be very sad, but it's, it's not doing that anymore. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Right. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Trying to remember everything I did before, I just waited and ran straight out. We wait. Here we go. I'm gonna have a sip of monster while I wait. This is it, the moment of truth. I'm terrified. I'm so scared. I did it. I did it. Okay. Okay. Oh. Seven minutes, 59 seconds ago. That gives me a lot. I've got 14 minutes. Okay. I think I can do this in 14 minutes. I think I can do this in 14 minutes. I pray I can do this in 14 minutes. We will soon find out. Oh boy. 
boy, here we go. Right, anyone who's joining now, welcome to big end game moments. Very big spoiler territory ahead. Right, get that gravity out of here. shouldn't have done this. Don't I'm so be scared. scared that I did this. Don't be scared. I try not to be scared, but I'm very scared. Where's my ship? Oh, it's the other side. I'm so silly. Wasting time. Oh, this is this is terrifying now. This is so terrifying. Oh, the music. Hold on. No. Don't say I've just like triggered something by Oh, no. I'm scared. No, it's slightly different. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so terrified. I am terrified. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Also, Jejun, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I'm terrified. I'm so scared, I'm so scared. <laughs> this is, the music, oh my goodness, I'm, oh, it, the, just hearing like the notes is so terrifying. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, am I ready? Absolutely not, I'm not ready. It's a way I've practiced this, I, I've tried. We'll see how well it actually goes once I'm in here. Oh, I'm very scared. I just hope I have time to do everything I should do. This music is so incredible. I'm gonna be so careful here. I'm gonna be the most careful I have ever been, I say as I crash my ship into the side. It's okay, because I'm going in. I'm going in, please, let me in. No, it's, oh, I'm, I'm off. This is going so wrong. Let me down, let me down. Let me down, let me down. I can't get down. Everything has gone wrong. Everything has gone wrong. It's okay. No, I'm going down again. Okay, 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 okay. Fear moments. I didn't mark it. I didn't mark it on my thing, but I know which way to go. Oh. I didn't mark it, but I know where to go, I think. I hope. Alright, now I need to be very quiet so that the anglerfish doesn't hear me. I just go. I'm just going in this direction. I'm just going. No, don't you dare. No, it heard me. No, it heard me. I'm running away. Please, you don't hear me. You don't hear me. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm a scared baby. I'm a big scared baby with 50% fuel. This is terrible. This is really bad. Go on. No. You heard me. Don't hear me. You don't hear me. Oh, yeah, this is terrible. I've... I've got a very bad feeling about this. Got the worst feeling about this. The fact I have such little fuel is a really big problem. Okay, we go very fast. And now I... now I'm silent. I'm not here. I don't know if I'm moving anymore. I, 
I'm moving. I'm moving slightly. Stop that. Stop. Oh my... Oh my god, this is so scary. I think I'm gonna run out of fuel. I'm so scared. I'm, I'm shaking right now. I should have turned sound alerts off for this. I should have turned sound alerts off for this. Right, now it's this one. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty huh? sure. I've, I practiced this. No, that's an anglerfish. Shit. It's that one. Shit, shit. It's this one. It's this way. <gasps> I should have turned sound alerts off. Oh my, I'm, I'm, I'm like literally shaking right now. My, my hands are shaking so much. Is it this way? It might not be this, no, it's not that way. It's not that way. Let me back out. Let me back out. I can't get back out, can I? It's got like a yellow tint to it. I think I've gone the wrong way. The one I have to go through, it's got like a yellowish tint. I think I've messed up. I think I'm stuck now. I messed up. This is so bad. What is gonna happen? I have this core. This is the worst. This is awful. Is this just like the end of the world now? <laughs> May just be the end of the world now, I think. Wait, is that the yellowish? No. No, that's not the right way. And then that's an anglerfish, I think. Yeah, I think I've, I caught myself in the, the horrible loop. The loop that I got stuck in before. I'm pretty sure I have doomed everybody and myself. What would happen if I meditated? Yeah, I've got myself stuck in the loop. This is awful. Oh, uh, I didn't realize I hadn't still got it marked. That was the problem. I thought it... I, I thought it was still marked on the thing. I forgot I marked the late bed cave. Now I'm just like, what would happen if I meditate here? I've taken the core out. This... This is awful. There's nothing I can do. I'm stuck here now. I've, I've been in this place before, and this is a loop. This is a... This is an end zone loop that cannot be gotten out of. This is a recursive anglerfish way through section. I think I have to. Uh, bad end. You are dead. I did it. I won the game. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I won! I did it! We completed it after a while! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Alright, that was going so well and up until the point where I forgot to mark it. Ugh. But I know what to do now. I definitely know what to do, and knowing I can do that first bit with like 14 minutes to spare makes me feel so much more confident that I might actually be able to do it. Like. I've just got to be so careful and slow with the anglerfish. I've just got to be really careful. Anyway, what a great game. I'm so glad I completed it and definitely won. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that it just says you are dead and the credits roll. I'm guessing it will, I'll be able to just like load my save before I did that. But uh, I'm hoping that's going to be what I can do. But oh, goodness. I'm... <laughs> I did it. Wow. I feel like it really adds to the impact of just like, yeah, you're dead. With the fact that the credits have just got like insect sounds. Like there's no music. It's it's just, yeah, you're dead. You don't get music. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Right, we're going to try that again. We're gonna try that again. I'm ready. Maybe. Am I ready? 
Thank you for playing Outer Wilds. Thank you too. I'm not stopping yet. That's... <laughs> I'm dead, no celebrating. Exactly. Yes, load previous save. Thank you. Thank goodness. I th I was... There was a little part of me that was super worried there that... That... That I wouldn't be able to continue, but uh, I'm so glad it's not the case. <laughs> also, Irish John Boy, hello! Thank you for the follow and the hydrate. Let me have a, a sip of my drink. I, I need a drink to calm down now. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for stopping in and following. Deleting the save file at that point would be such a badass move. It would be awful. It would stop people from playing the game, probably. Do I want to turn off sound alerts? Yeah, I probably should, actually. <laughs> but that whole sequence, I was so distracted by all the sound alerts. Let me, let me quickly toggle those off. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It was funny, though. It was funny in a I hate you all kind of way. <laughs> I'm turning off the sounds just for now. Just while everything is super tense. Just for my own sanity's sake. <laughs> you can still do things like throw things at me. Like that if you if you wanna make if you wanna jump scare me, you can still throw stuff at me, <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm disabling the sound alerts just for now. Wait, where is Uru voice? Oh, I disabled that as well because this is endgame moments and I don't want to ruin it by uru -ing. <laughs> But I'll give you a sweet Uru if you want. Just for you, Uru. Right, that's enough of that. Uh, okay, let's try this again. I'm going to nap for two minutes. I'm napping for two minutes. Actually, no, I'm napping for 30 seconds. I'd Marshmallow. For good luck. Okay. And I'm going straight there because I've... Because that worked out really well last time. I was, I was proud of how that happened. Also, thank you for wasting your points as well. The points have been eaten. Right. Oh, before I go, hold on. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Before I go, I'm not doing this again. Boom. Okay. We're good. <laughs> Marshmallow eating. We're in now. Oh, the elevator music. <laughs> I left the elevator music on. It's just like, yeah, we're going. We're going on our little elevator ride into space. <laughs> I love that I'm so frazzled at the moment. I, I just. I just kind of accepted the elevator music where it would be. Also, I, I, I was just like, yeah, this is normal. This is how it should be. Right. Okay. Here we go. Let's give this a try. Nope, I'm too close to the planet. There we go. Right, we're gonna head to Ash Twin and we're going to wait there very patiently. Again. Okay. Gentle, gentle. I'm a little sideways, but that's okay. And then we land. A little sideways, but I think it's okay. Hopefully. Right, I don't know if this is going to be in the path of the, the sand when it happens, but uh, no, I don't think it should be. I think it should be... Oh, maybe? I don't actually know which direction the, the sand goes in. I think it goes like across the, the center, like the center of the planet along here? Like east to west way, but if it goes north north to south, then I am in the absolute wrong position. Which way do they Okay, it's going Yeah, it's going along that way. I think that'll miss my ship. Will it? It might not. 
Let's move my ship. Okay, now it's going along there. Yeah, this is a good spot for my ship. I'm close to the line it takes. And now we wait. Now we wait a little bit. <laughs> I did ride the elevator, it's true. We got this elevator, look at this. Do 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 do. Up we go. Right. Oh, I'm, I'm so close to, oh, this is terrifying. It's really good to know, though, that if if anything happens there, if anything goes wrong, I was very terrified that I might just have like a one, one chance, one one opportunity, and then it's gone. But no, I just die, and I can reload. It, it, it's just retconned. It's just like, yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> I very much appreciate that. Oh, I'm so excited, though. I'm terrified. Absolutely terrified to go through all this anglerfish again, but I'm I'm ready. I'm so ready. Uh, would it matter? Would it matter if the game just ended and I couldn't play it anymore before completing it? Then yes, that, I think that would matter. <laughs> that would matter a lot. I I could imagine like if that was a thing where it deleted your save if you just die. Th there would be a lot of people who just stop playing before reaching the ending. I could fully see it. There's a lot of people who, like, if you invest a lot of time into something and then it's just gone, they'll just be like, well, now I don't want it anymore. And that would be a shame. It's also like, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like that kind of person. <laughs> I'm like, if, if I'm playing a game that I'm enjoying and then I just lose all of my progress, then all of my motivation to play it just, it just goes. Like, I, I don't want to play it anymore. I just feel bitter. <laughs> So that's why I'm very glad it's not a thing. It's like, it's a really cool thing to think about, like, as a theory. Like, yeah, you could imagine that happening. It would be a, a cool gimmick. But in terms of, like, actually making the game enjoyable to play, I don't think it would be as much. Also, Akira, thank you for the haiku redeem too. Got a haiku about cats. Right, haiku about cats. I love cats so much. Fuzzy little tails and paws. I want to hug them. <laughs> there we go. Right. Oh, yes. And the tower's right here. I, I, I landed at a great spot. Yeah, my ship is so close. I landed in a great place. I'm so glad. Ah, oh, there was a flash game like that, you think? Yeah, I think I, I've seen it happen before as well. It's, uh, I've, I've seen situations where they'll be like, you get one ending and it deletes your save file and stuff. And, like, I do, I do understand, like, it's cool from, like, a gimmick and story and lore perspective. But when it comes to, like, just being an enjoyable video game, I don't think it's as fun. Oh, you've seen someone quit this game after the first loot because there's no save points. Oh, that, that feels so sad, like, to not even get to the point where you realize that you don't you don't really need save points. <laughs> With the Hearthian's death, the thread of prophecy is severed. Restore a saved game to restore the weave of fate or persist in the doomed world you have created. That's it. That's Skyrim, isn't it? I never actually played Skyrim myself, but but I know Xander did. But yeah, there's a lot of games like that. And there's also games where, like, it changes once you've played it once. And if you want to play it again, you've got to, like, remove the persistent files. Otherwise, it's just completely changed forever. But I think those ones are kind of cool. Like, you don't lose your progress. It just changes slightly. I don't know. Right. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, Morrowind. Yeah, it's, it's still, a. Uh, Still Elder Scrolls. It is Elder Scrolls, right? The only Elder Scrolls game I've actually played is Oblivion. Yes, I did it. Here we go, here we go. Here we go! I'm 
I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm so ready for this. I really hope I don't get eaten by an anglerfish again. We'll soon find out. So we go boop. And then we go up. Open that up. Now I'm gonna reach that. Oh, I jumped a, a little worse that time. Okay. That's not what I meant to... Okay. Okay. Okay, I've got the core. I've got the core. Now is the moment of truth. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Ha! Head to my ship. This is terrifying. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready for the music. Right, let me let me double check. Yes, it's definitely marked on there. Okay. Okay. Oh, big fear. Why are you on the other side of the sun? It's okay, we can make it work. meet each other. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> the moment of truth. I got this. Thank you. Try my best. Yeah, the music is so incredible. All of the music in this game is just absolutely incredible. It's so good. Oh, I wonder what Skyrim is like coming into it blind in 2024. Uh, sadly, I wouldn't be coming into it blind because uh, I've watched a lot of other people play it. I just haven't played it myself. Like, I've, I've watched quite a few people play Skyrim. Right, here we go. Now that we're in here... Oh, I should have refueled. I'm a fool. I'm going back in my ship. I need to refuel. I remember what happened last time. Okay. Okay. And now we're going, and I'm just gonna float. I'm just gonna float past the... Float past the anglerfish. I'm just gonna... Have a gentle little float. Just... Approach it from this angle, I can avoid the anglerfish, I think. Okay, now is now is the moment of truth. Now is the, the scariest part. I'm going in. Fast as I can. And now we float. I am silent. I am not here. I do not exist. You do not see me. Eight. I'm not here. There's nothing here. I am not here. I do not exist. I am not here. You do not hear me. You do not see me. I'm not here. Did I leave eight up? I can't believe I leave eight. I, I left eight as the only available sound alert. I forgot to disable eight. Well, well, you know what? I like eight. I'm all right with eight. Eight is a good one. And I've got confetti. I forgot about the confetti as well. Thank you. Thank you all for reminding me that I can still be jump scared, but thankfully I'm past... Oh, there's one over there. There's one over there. I've got to be so quiet and careful. Oh no. This is really bad. I'm just going so slowly. Anyway, joke's on you. I got past the scariest part. <laughs> Reminding me how horrible you are. <laughs> yeah, why do I do this? Everyone treats me so badly. 
I come along, I play games for everybody, and I'm just jump scared and accused of arson. <laughs> Why do I do this? I really hope I'm far away enough from that anglerfish now. Yeah, I think I am. I'm going. Oh goodness, I'm so scared. Here we go. Here we go. Accused of arson? Yeah, it happens a lot. It's I have a really unfortunate situation where fires tend to spring up around me. <gasps> Wait, the music. Oh my goodness. But the fires are never my fault. Like, I'm never the one setting the fires, yet everyone accuses me of us, and it's... Truly do not understand. They're all very false. Anyway, it's... Oh, goodness. Moment of truth. How do I get in here? It's down here, isn't it? Is it in... It's in here. It's in here. I know where I am. I know where I am. I know where I am. Oh my goodness. Oh. I'm so scared. I'm sideways. I don't want to be sideways. Come on. Come on. I really wish I wasn't sideways right now. How do I put it in? Oh, gravity's back. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. I need to sip of my drink, hold on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, now I can stand properly. <laughs> okay, now I need to, how, do, how did I do this? What do I do here? I, is it one of these things? Right, if I put that here. <gasps> yes, here. I need to draw. Oh, God. Wait! Oh! I was about to find my notebook out. It's put it in the bottom left. I love this game. I love this game so much. I can't believe it put it in the bottom left for me. Oh, what a great game. Now, this is the hard part because I'm really bad at, like, controlling these. Wait, which way does it go? Is it, like... Hold on. I don't know how to draw this first one in. It's like... Hold on. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Okay. It's like, bottom left, and then up like that. Oh, and then I just go, like, straight across to there. Okay. Then I do that. <gasps> yes, and now I'm on to the next one. Okay, I get how this works. I guess I'll, I get how this works. Okay. Oh, it would have been so devastating if I got through all of this and then I just completely flubbed how to put the coordinates in. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, no! Come back! Not there. There. And then there. And then there. No! I knocked it on the way. No, no, this is... This is painful. I'm so bad at controlling. It's my hands are shaking too much. It's because my hands are shaking. Gotta be very careful. Okay. Okay. Alright, coordinates. What do I do now? Do this? <gasps> Where am I? Where am I? Do I approach it? I'm so scared. I'm terrified. <laughs> What's going on, Abby? There's a lot of electricity. I'm a little 
little scared. Oh. Oh, goodness. Right, I'm gonna bring this back around to these other areas. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. I wanna see what they do. Okay, not that. Uh, let's put it here. <gasps> Ooh! Oh. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Um, hello. Uh, <laughs> what is happening here? What is going on here? Oh. Oh my goodness. Also, Liquid Daylight, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Welcome. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going there. Whoa, what, what is happening? I think I found the eye of the universe. <laughs> oh, it's, this, this feels like something out of a horror horror game now. Pure horror situation. Oh, true. Th th thanks. Thanks for the trees. It's. Oh! Oh! There's, there's lightning everywhere. The, 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 as soon as it appeared, just here and gone. This is this is horrifying. This is genuinely horrifying. Taking a photo when the lightning hits to make sure there's light. I cannot. This is terrifying because I'm literally just going to have to wait for the lightning to hit to take a photo because there's no light otherwise. There. Oh. I took a photo but it's gone? Oh no. Oh, it's... Oh, wow. Okay. I need to figure out how to get up there. Jump, the gravity's like 2.5 times. Oh, I'm lost. I feel like I saw something, but it's. I'm not fast enough with my photos. <gasps> oh, I saw the tree then for a second. I saw that arch. I've taken a photo. Where is it? Where is it? I want it. Give me that tree. I'm so lost. <laughs> I'm lost in, in the quantum eye of the universe. Right, this looks... Oh, whoa. This is very intense. Oh my days. There's got to be a way up. Can I get up here? Almost, not quite. What's going on over here? Is this back the way I came? I'm. <laughs> it is I, lost and afraid. Where am I? I have no idea. But I'm taking photos. Okay, no, I think that I think I'm 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 doing something. <gasps> oh, <gasps> wow! 
well. Well. like okay where am I what am I doing why am I here oh 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 well Geronimo Hello? Outer Wilds Ventures was founded by Feldspar, Gossan, Slate, and Hornfels to explore a solar system at the end of the universe. Yeah. My museum? Oh, the statue! The Namai never got to see it for themselves, but thanks to their efforts and technology, a Harthian was able to reach the eye of the universe. I sure was, huh? This is so eerie. Hello? Hi? Ooh. The Namai who came to our solar system were following a signal from the eye of the universe. They perished when the interloper arrived, bringing with it the deadly substance we called ghost matter that flooded the entire solar system almost instantly and without warning. Oh, is this going to be like the lore stuff I picked up along the way is updating the museum? Oh, it's my little scout. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Also, Pirate Baby Shark 8, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Of all the life forms who will perish in the oncoming death of the universe, we will miss the anglerfish the least. Amen. Yes, I like seeing it like that, I must say. Huh, okay, yep. Mm. At the end of its lifespan, our sun collapsed under its own gravity and then exploded in a violent supernova. Oh, okay, it, it sure did, huh? Mm. Yep. The quantum shard's still here? Nope, there is a void. Oh, it just put me back here. Wow, okay. <laughs> All right. Duly noted. I can't check that. I guess I'm going up. Oh... check around here. Did the notes say anything different? Hornfell's observation. I yeah, I think those are these are the same notes. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. But if that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? This is the this is the start of a new universe, isn't it? This Okay. All right. Let me observe. Okay. Yeah, space is big. Oh wow. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Supernova destroyed all of that. Okay, well, I'm going to go towards the stars. Ooh. Oh. 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 <gasps> Hello. <gasps> oh. What is this? Can I catch one? Here it goes. 
Are these all universes? <laughs> what? Boop. Should I even be booping these? Probably not. Probably should not be booping these, but I'm... Okay, universe boop. Oh, look at all the... The blue. Boop. Look at all these suns exploding. Oh my goodness. Oh, it doesn't even matter if I booped them. They're, all their suns are exploding anyway. It, it, it wouldn't make a difference. <laughs> look, look, that... Wow. Yeah, this is the, the whole universe, isn't it? This is not just the heat death of this solar system. It's everything. Okay. Ooh. Find something in the vast nothingness. Oh, I heard a noise. I don't even know where I am. I'm just in space. Oh. Definitely heard something. It would help if I knew, like, what direction I was facing, to be fair. Oh, flashlight. Unidentified signal nearby. Okay, signal. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Oh. Look, don't, don't, don't blame me for the heat death of the universe. It was gonna happen anyway. <laughs> Just going. Yeah, I think I probably should have stayed still for a bit there, but I was just rolling around trying to figure out what to do. I think I rolled the complete opposite way that I should have. I'm just gonna follow it. I'm just gonna follow this frequency. I'm just gonna follow the signal all the way. Way. Turning slightly. Oh. Thank goodness there's apparently oxygen here because <laughs> this is quite quite the hike. Honestly though, I feel like it's quite fitting. The amount of hiking I've done in this game it only makes sense that I would Hi, b bye. Wait, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Hey, the frequency's gone. The frequency's gone. No, where did it go? I can't see anything. I, I, there was a tree and I walked away from it and now I've lost the tree again. Oh. I heard a sound. <gasps> There's a campfire! Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Oh, you know what time it is. I guess I should probably roast one properly. Not, not that that's not roasting it properly, but, you know. Okay. Oh, trees. Trees around now. Oh, chair. Eska! Do you hear music? No, do I? Let's look away. Let's look back. Let's look away. Let's look back. Do I hear music? I don't know. From this way? I see lights. Hmm. Do 
I hear music? I do. I hear music this way. <gasps> uh. Hi! Hi! <gasps> right, let me in. Hi. How do I get in here? like to get in? What if I look away and look back again? Hmm. It's just the banjo in there. changed. Right. Making sure this hole stays here. Oh, I think I need... No, I need the hole to be on the, the lower level. I need a way to break in. in there. Oh, I can get in now. There we go. There we go. No? Yes? No. Yes. Yes. Banjo. I got a banjo. Oh! Oh, okay. Also, Mysterious0987, thank you for the follow! You joined at a very mysterious time, too. Oh, it followed at a mysterious time. Hi! It's, um, it's not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others for this next part. We'll need, you know, everyone. <gasps> no rush, take your time. It might not even exist here. That's good to know. I, I'm pretty sure time doesn't exist here, to be fair. Oh, this is incredible. Oh, this is so good. Yeah, also that was perfectly timed confetti. Ooh, oh, this is slightly devastating. All right. Wait, I hear so much. There's so much from every direction. Where are they gone? Okay, there's there's the plane on the bottle. There's Feldspar's harmonica. Could have sworn there was something here, but I guess it's moved now. Let's go for Feldspar. I'm going for Feldspar. Also, Salander, thank you for the follow too. Welcome, welcome. I'm going. Nope. What if I just stay still? Okay, it takes me back to the middle. Okay, right. Um, let's do this first. Hey! The quiet shade. Across old bark. Following the signs from the glade. Oh. In the ancient glade. There's more. There's more now. We're going this way first. It's always dark. I keep missing. Got it. Nope. Yes. Yes, I got it. I got it. Okay. <laughs> nope. Just my instinctive reaction to any anglerfish is just... How about... No. Oh, I'm, st I'm still in the air. I thought it was gonna, like, zoop me back after that, but... I'm gonna get 
get this one. Papers. I despise anglerfish with all of my being. I'm just gonna... <laughs> this is probably very silly. Going so slowly. Okay, what if? Where the heck has my scout ended up? In a tree. Anglerfish? There's a little stump there. Could it be? <gasps> Jellyfish! Oh! I'll avoid them. Boom. Got it. Okay. Okay. I got it. Whew. Thank you, little scout. Thank you for lighting the way. There's more. Still more here. Let's, let's go back to the middle and have a look. Because I'm guessing now we've got Feldspar. We've got Eska. We've got Gabbro because of the bottle or the, the oboe pipe no, the instrument. Hey, time pal. So you're getting the band back together, huh? Go on, go find the others. I'll be here. You don't need me yet, but you will. Feldspar! Yes! Hatchling, you found me! Nice to have company around a campfire, isn't it? Go on, get the others. Wouldn't want them to miss out. Very true. Right. Let's get my scout back. And next one... Wait, I think I, I think I know. I think that's gonna be Solomon. I'm, I'm going for this first. I, I think, I, I hope. Okay, yep. And it's moved. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. Where's it gone? Back here, and then it's gone, and then it's back out there. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's send. Oh, there it is. Oh, I can... Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay, that's clever. That's clever. Okay. No. I think, like... The music, like, it reminds me of, like, the Nomai music. I'm, I'm wondering if that's gonna be Solanum. I'm so... I hope it is. I'm following it. Oh, gonna be, like... Alive and dead at the same time situation. Okay. All right, what I'm going to do is. Oh. Signal's gone now. It's 22 meters here, but then it vanishes when I get too close, so. Hmm. I'm gonna bring that back a second. Which direction? 
direction. Here, 22 meters. It's, when I get so close, it stops. What if? No, okay, I was like, what if I just arrive in the dark? a look. They're all they're all pointing up. It's, do I just have to go up maybe? <gasps> yes, I go up. Oh, okay. I go up. I went up. <gasps> Where am I? I'm down again. Oh, there's a tower. They're, uh, they're making a, a tower. Okay, we're, we're all going up. We're all going up. back down again. Okay, we go up again. We can reach it. We can reach it. Oh. Can't see. <gasps> yes! Oh, 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 oh. Yes. In I go. In I go. Oh, there's a bug during the ship part where if you pull your signal scope back out on the ship, it'll break the music that's supposed to play. Okay. I wonder if I've already ruined that by having it, like, equipped. Hopefully not. I'm gonna try... Go. Go left. Nope. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we're going. We're going. Okay. Okay, thank you for letting me know so I don't accidentally do it. Like, this is amazing. Hi. Oh! Ah, yes! Where are you? Ah, I got her. I got her. Oh, wow. Okay, I think that's everyone now. Hopefully. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Solanum. A conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? Not yet, I wanna to talk to everyone. Then I will wait until you are ready to know the answer. <gasps> Rebeck, should I begin? No, not yet. Chert. Okay, no, all of them asked that. Take your time. I don't think there's anything left to go supernova. Yeah, I think they're, they're all just telling me now, like, is it time? I think it's time. I think I have one more marshmallow. <sighs> and I, I think, I think it's time. Is it time to find out? I think it might be. This song is new to me, but I am honored to be a part of it. <gasps> oh, are they all gonna play? <sighs> oh. Ready to start the music? Yes. Okay, this should be cool. What do you say then? Should I get out the old harmonica? Yes. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh. Can't wait to play with the whole group again. Can I start? Yes. Okay, I won't let you down. Talk to church, you begin. Yes. Here you go. Should begin. Yes. Got it. Do my best. Oh my goodness! Are we making a new universe? 
we're making something. Are we making like? Oh, I don't. Oh. I don't know what's happening, but it's beautiful. Oh, what a. normal even if it's over now I had a good time learning but I think the rules are about to change I learned a lot by the end of everything the past is past now but that's you know that's okay it's never really gone completely the future is always built on the past even if we won't get to see it still it's um time for something new now wow how long has it been since I got to make music with everyone around a campfire I'm really happy we're all here. You cut it a little close, don't you think? I was trying my best, look. <laughs> well, it worked out all right in the end, I suppose. Uh, I hope there are beasties in the next one. I tell you what, this has been really fun. And I got to help make something pretty cool, so I've got no complaints. I mean, not me exactly, but close enough. It's the kind of thing that makes you glad you st stopped and smelled the pine trees along the way, you know? I believe we've reached the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Are you ready to learn what comes next? <laughs> I was about to say I'm not crying, but it's quite obvious, isn't it? <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> Hold on, I need, I need a sec. <laughs> oh. It's tempting to linger in this moment while every possibility still exists. But unless they are collapsed by an observer, they will never be more than possibilities. Oh. Okay. Am I ready to learn what comes next? Yeah, I, I think I am. <laughs> I admire your curiosity, friend. Let's find out together. Okay. I'm ready. Oh, wow. I didn't think I was going to cry and then we got to that campfire moment and like the tears just started running down my cheeks before I even realized I was... <laughs> wow. It is, it's so bittersweet. It is so bittersweet. Like there's literally nothing we could have done there. There is nothing we could have done. That was the end of that universe. That was fully the end of that universe, but we managed to make it the start of a new one. So instead of it just being a dead end, it's it's like a rebirth. That's, oh my god. <laughs> I love this game. This is incredible. What an incredible journey. What an incredible ending. A little part of me was slightly worried because there have been games I've played before where I feel like the emotional journey 
like, hasn't had the payoff at the end. But this one absolutely does. Oh, it 100% it does. I've, oh. <laughs> I shouldn't have worried. I shouldn't have worried with how much people love it. I should have known it would be uh, incredible, but oh. <laughs> <laughs> the end is never the end, is never the end, is never the end, is never the end. Such an incredible game. Oh, the music. <laughs> the music is so phenomenal. This is incredible. What a great game. It's such a great game. I, I love this game. I have loved this so much. I've loved everything about this so much. Ah, so when would I try the DLC? Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a couple weeks break to play another game because there's another game I, I really wanted to play and I think I need a bit of like emotional time to recover after the end but then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play like another game and then I'm going into the DLC I'm gonna be doing the DLC very soon it's not gonna be very long it's gonna be like a month maximum, but I'm I'm definitely <laughs> going back in for the TLC. This is so good. This has been incredible. Oh, physical on Switch just got printed. Oh, you got one? Oh, was it was it like a limited run type thing? Oh, I wish I'd played it soon enough to be able to know to get that. <laughs> I want that. Oh, what a what a incredible game though. What a oh. Oh, I've I've still got tears running down my cheeks. Like <laughs> I'm not like crying, crying anymore, but the tears are just coming out on their own. It's <laughs> wow. Oh, the music! The music is phenomenal. Physical collector edition is still up for pre-order. I know what I have to do. I know what I have to do. I know what I'm doing right after this stream. <laughs> I know what I have to do. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm... Wow. Uh, well, well, now I know why people keep recommending it. I 100% do. Absolutely incredible. I'm... Oh, the music. It's so... It's its amazing how, like, the musical motifs, like, the light motifs, manage to, like, make themselves... make their ways into, like, all of the soundtrack in different ways, and it makes it so... so special. Like, you hear some of the music and you're like, this is not my music, this is a not my area. You hear some of the music, and then you're like, "Oh, this is Timber Hearth. We got the the Timber Hearth theme, and just oh my goodness, the way that the music started playing when I took the warp core out, I had a moment of fear that I just like triggered everything very early. But then, like, I realized it was different. I was like, "Wait, wait, it's oh, it's so clever. It's so incredible." Everything about it has just been so well thought out. It's... what a... What an incredible journey. What a... What a journey. Thank you for playing Outer Wilds. Thank you for making this game. What an amazing game. Collector's Edition comes with a kazoo. Oh my... I've been talking about how I need to get a kazoo. Wait, 14.3 billion years later. Our universe... Oh, look at it! Look at that! Look at that! Oh, oh, look at that! Look! Look at this! Look! Oh, it's beautiful! Oh, it's so beautiful! Ah. What an amazing game! What a... What an incredible game. Oh, wow. Here, these notes. These are the Snow Patrol notes. Mm 
me ruining that incredible poignant moment when the main menu happens and I'm just like, yeah, this is Snow Patrol. <laughs> oh, wow. That was incredible. That was so good. Wow. Wow. <laughs> the Snow Patrol notes, yeah. Right, if I click load previous save now. Ah, I want to go have a look at my ship log. I want to have a look at my ship log. But I thank you for throwing something at me as well. But, oh, it feels so nice, like, seeing everything being snuffed out. But then having that moment of, like, look, we, we created something new. That life is returning again. Oh, so good. So good. Yeah, it's still like there's more to discover here. There's still stuff I need to find. And then there's the cave I need to find if I want to complete all of the logs. Huh. Do I want to do that right now? I'm feeling like that. That was that was a lot. <laughs> that was incredible. But oh, what an, what an incredible game! This is such a good game. Uh, besides those two things, you have another thing to point me towards. Oh yes, please. This is the point now where I will, I will accept guidance from you from from the sword squad. <laughs> I'm also wondering, is it safe to look at the achievements? Are there DLC achievements? Because I've I've been pointedly making sure not to look at the achievements list in case it gives anything away. But I'm not sure about it. Okay, there are. I I will look I will not look at the achievements yet then. <laughs> oh, something to do in the high energy lab. Ooh. Ooh, I will do that. Would avoid looking. Okay, thank you. I will, I will avoid looking. I was mostly wondering if there's any like, any silly achievements. Like I got the achievement for using up all of my oxygen. <laughs> like like using my oxygen to propel myself when I ran out of fuel. I got an achievement for that. So I was mostly wondering if there's any other silly achievements that I could try and get. But I I don't want to risk it if there's the possibility of like seeing DLC achievements. So I might leave that until afterwards too. But ah, oh, the devs actually did toy with deleting the save when you died outside the loop. I'm so glad they didn't in the end. I'm very glad they didn't. But uh, yeah, you know what? Let's go to the high energy lab. Oh, I, I know, I know the way to get in there. I don't need to, I don't need to read really anything like that. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. I maybe should have labeled the planets so I could. No, I want Ember Twin. All right, over to Ember Twin. I'm gonna head into the high energy energy lab again. Let's see what we can do. Oh, uh, achievement for getting in the sun station without warping. That's nope, nope. Autopilot is trying to send me into the sun, and I think it's succeeding. Oh, I'm leaning. I'm leaning to try and avoid the sun. It's not working. <gasps> Unless. Oh, we did. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm going way too fast. I'm so far away. I'm going way too fast. not the best start, but it's all good. Ah, uh, if you played the game early enough after release, it would sometimes just delete your save randomly. No. That's so painful. And it makes me glad I make lots of backups. I'm going too fast. I'm going way too fast. This is where I need to be, but I'm going really fast. It's okay. It's just the landing gear, that is not a problem. Landing gear is not a problem, we just repair it. Right, let's let's try and get to the lab. 
<laughs> In we go. Our base game achievements are orange, DLC ones are green. Uh, not sure if they show that way if you haven't earned them yet. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I think I'll, I'll probably just not risk it. Wow, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm like really flustered after that ending. I'm just loving all of my jumps. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go to the high energy lab. Oh yeah, also if you want to mention something but you're not sure whether it would be like spoilery or allowed, just uh, whisper a mod. Whisper the mod team. Going around here. At least I remember my way around here now. It took it only took me many, many hours, but I, I made it. I go through here, I boop my head, as as expected. I jump over here. I go through the sand. I go over here, avoid the cacti. Go through here. Yeah, made it. I made it. As a champ flying through the anglerfish, you did it with your ship at zero speed because you were a chicken. I'm a chicken too, though. I was just, I was just fully like flopping around like a dead fish. Like if I, I don't exist. I'm not here. I'm just floating. There's nothing here. I'm fine. Right. Lab lights on. Oh, am I too late already? Ow. I may already be too late. Yeah, I can't get through here. It's too late. Ah, well. I just meditate and try again. <laughs> Without wasting a bunch of time at the beginning. But yeah, I... Yeah, like, I, it was it was so close. I was almost on time. But yeah, it just got to the point where I couldn't quite squeeze through. <laughs> Sacrificing my ankles for speed. It's fine. It's fine. I can heal up. It's not a problem. I just strap them up. <sighs> right, up we go. No time for marshmallows. We're on a mission now. Uh, oh, is there a shortcut? I will happily accept a shortcut if there is one, because... Uh, there's a path I discovered early that I then forgot about. Oh, wait! Yeah! I'm so silly. I, I did fully forget about that. Thank you so much for reminding me. <laughs> I completely forgot. It's so funny. Alright. Let's go! I can't believe I, I fully forgot. I found it and then I was just like, yeah, I, d I don't know. Oh, I'm, I'm clever and intelligent. See, this is why I make so many notes for things. My my memory is absolutely abysmal. Also, I just realized there was a follow and I didn't say thank you. Boldo 106 thank you for the follow. I'm so sorry it's taken me a while. I I fully, would, I've just been blah, blah, blah. The game has left me feeling blah. But a thank you for following. I hope you enjoy your time here. All right. Nope, that's a bit fast. Um, oh, hi. Right. Right, where... Forgotten where everything is. Here. Here? Here. Not here. Over here. I've forgotten where everything is here. <laughs> Whoops. There it is. Meant to do that. Ba -ba -bum. Right. 
Right, now to try and remember where the heck. Was it like above or is it like in the gravity cannon? <laughs> everything is i i forget everything it's all good because it was like up, up here right up here? there it is there it is found it okay yay Whew. Now scary. Yay! Right, there's loads of crystals, but the, there's only like a, a death bit like there. There are a lot of cacti as well. I, sh I should be able to jump on there safely. And then, yeah, up there. Ha ha ha! There we go! Yeah, it's, it's the part I looked in earlier where there's the, the entrance is blocked from the outside from there. However, it is not from here. Right, I'm gonna top up my oxygen. Yeah, look, we got so much time now. Boop. In I go, and I'll wait for the cacti to get covered up. Ah, <laughs> oh, I've seen so many people just jetpack the way through without landing because they were scared of the crystals. Honestly, I'm I'm just really glad that I managed to uh, figure out very quickly that I can use the camera to see where the the doom areas are like where where the danger patches are <laughs> but yeah that's it's the spot that it links up from the inside of the gravity cannon area too yeah now we just wait for the sand to to cover the cacti but i'm so glad i discovered the the like the sand covering up method like to get to the sun station to get through here so good Feels so good. I'm also really, really amused because um, the first time I ended up going this way, I fully just missed that there were paths to go down in the left and right. I just got to the end and I was like, well, now I'm stuck. And then the next time I tried it, I was like, how? It's so obviously there. How did I miss it? Yeah. Oh, speaking of, forgot to talk to all the travelers after doing stuff. Yeah, that's a good point, too. I've talked to a couple after discovering things, but I haven't talked to all of them. I think a little part of me is just like, I want to try and find all of the logs and then go around. But yeah, I was I was fully panicking the first time. I was... I was running through praying for the best. Like, thinking I would have no time. Oopsie. That's fine. I thought I had no time and I was just going to be doomed forever. But, uh, right. Bum, 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 bum. Dun, 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 dun. Follow this around. Da, da, da. Oh, here we go. Into the lab. But yeah, I've I've used photos for so many things in this, and it's it's felt so rewarding when there have been mechanics that have been like, yeah. Take photos. <laughs> oh no, that's the way down. All right, over we go. Oh, gl glad I got the Gabbro meditate ability. Yeah, I, I didn't know what it did for the longest time too. I was just, I didn't even notice it until like I went to the menu at one point, and then I was like, hold on. What is this? What does this do? And it's it's so handy. Yeah, I love my scout. I love the scout so much. I've relied on the scout so much in this game. 
But it's great. Right, I wonder if I could do funky stuff with the... the stuff in here. Boop, boop, boop. Power it up, baby! Alright, what happens if I do, like, two black holes? I don't think anything happens with two black holes. Black hole, white hole. Bloop, okay. I wonder if I can break things with my scout here. <laughs> Unable to retrieve scout too many targets. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's so cool, like the moment when there's two... <coughs> two scouts. That's so good. Also, Bunny Frog, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I wonder if there's more I can do here. Like the fact that there's so many warp cores here, it makes me wonder. Like other combinations? Or if there's anywhere else I can put them. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, what 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 does this do when it's the other side again? What does this do? Sending power over that way. Where does that lead to? Hmm. But yes, I, w I would love a vague hint. Yes, please. Ah, oh, you enjoyed this game and my style of playing it intrigues you. Oh, I'm glad. Well, I've I've just um I just had the the moment on the eye. So, I'm I'm running around doing things now. Try to make a paradox. Oh, yes. Yes, I want to do that. I want to make a paradox. I want to make a paradox. How can I make a paradox? I'm... I wonder... Hmm. Nah, it won't, it won't let me when there's two of them. Part of me is like, what if I launch my scout from, like, back here? Hold on. Hmm. I want to- I want- I want to get two scouts. I, I'm wondering if there's a way I can... Duplicates. What if I just can't see the other scout? Wait, actually, I've got a idea. What if I put my scout in there already? And then I do this, but I bring it back. No, it was a... not quite. Hmm. Hmm. it goes it immediately becomes duplicate hmm 
Oh, pet peeve is people not identifying nearby signals. Oh, every time I've seen a signal on like the signal scope, I've instantly just been like, I need to hone in on that and see where it is. <laughs> hmm. This is gloriously methodical. I I go through things very methodically. It's it's. I think a lot of like my theorizing in games is I I really like to oh hold on what if I just move the power away like will this still work if I've sent the power off in the other direction oh it does oh but then it's just gone okay Hmm. How about if I send it through the white hole? No. Okay, it j that just goes through normally then. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't have the... When it's not powered up with the, the warp cores, it just goes through at a... a slightly more regular time. Hmm. I wonder what this does. Hmm. What else can I try? What if I do two black holes? <laughs> Whoop. Wait, I've got a silly idea actually. I'm gonna try something a little silly. Okay, no, I think I need to power it up this way. I, I want to try something silly. Uh, I really hope this is how I make a power dog. <laughs> I got a silly idea. My idea is... <laughs> oh, yeah, but yeah, I broke it. It worked. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Yeah, that broke it. You've met a terrible fate, no going back. You destroyed the fabric of space-time. <laughs> I did it! I did it, I broke it! Oh, I'm so glad that actually worked. Oh my god, the music! <laughs> this, is, this is the best ending, this is great. Oh, listen to that. Oh, oh, but as I was saying before as well, I... I've been talking for the longest time about how I need a kazoo to add to my ridiculous instruments collection. Like, I've got an automatone, I have an ocarina, I have a recorder that I play really badly. I think I need a kazoo. I think it would make sense for me to have a kazoo. <laughs> oh, this is so great. But yeah, I also love how in the credits as well, there were little notes after the names as well that were just saying things like, actually stuck in a time loop, please send help. <laughs> oh, that... I just saw a big wall of text there that had Easter egg in it. I'm gonna have a I'm gonna be pausing and looking through that afterwards. <laughs> oh, that's so good though. That was so worth it. Thank you so much. I love just having the hint of just like go to the high energy lab and try to break it. I believe in you. You you can do it. <laughs> I did it. I'm so glad that worked. So I just had the moment of just like, hold on a second. What if I send it through? and then remove the black hole before it can come out properly, but after it's come out, and it, it works so perfectly. Oh, I love it. I love this game. Right, actually, I'll ask something else. Are there any other, like, silly achievements that I could possibly get? Because at the moment, I it, it amazes me because there's like 31 achievements for the game and I think I have maybe three of them. I think I have three of them? So, yeah, hold on. Let me, let me check very quickly the achievements that I've unlocked. Okay, yeah, the achievements I've unlocked are for eating 10 burnt marshmallows, for using my suit's oxygen in an ill-advised manner, and that one I just got now with the, you've met a terrible fate, no going back. Most of the achievements are silly, that's what I want. 
That's what I want. Oh, I can think of one other silly one in the lab in Ash Twin. Ooh. What, what is, what is, what is? Oh, no one, talk to shirt. Okay, whereabouts is shirt again? Was chat on, um, hold on, wait, I can do this. That's Eska. That's Gabro. Probably makes more sense to do this in space. Yeah, oh, Ash Twin Project. Okay, yeah, you know what? Let's let's go Ash Twin Project. That sounds like fun. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I want to do silly achievements now. I feel like I could, like, install the DLC, start that, but I'm, I want to do something a bit more lighthearted at the moment, I think. Because uh, that was um, a lot. And I want to do silly things for a little bit. I... I should buckle up. There we go. There's a silly little achievement called Hotshot. Oh, what do I do? I was gonna say, it's not fire yourself into the sun, because I would have achieved that many times already. <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh, fly into the sun station. Oh yeah, that's that is something that I I don't know if I'll be able to manage, but I I, I could try it. I mean, like I should try. It. Like, what's what's the worst that can happen, right? Oh. I missed. I missed. That landing was terrible, but I landed. We're landing here now. <laughs> Oh yeah, look around the cockpit. Do do do. Do 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 do. Having a look around here. Oxygen refill. Spot a tree, walk towards it. Enjoy. These plants look a little dead. After I buckle up. Hmm. Let's have a look. Refuel here. We got lots of marshmallows. Got the ship log. Got nice little branches, loads of marshmallows. Got the crystal that I presume keeps things upright. Hmm. Probably missing something super obvious here. Chair. Let's say down. Hmm. Yeah, there's the hatch. Oh, the crystal can break. Oh, I can imagine. Uh, oh, in the cockpit, it's the D pad. Okay. Ah. <gasps> Oh, oh, okay. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, what's this button do? Nice. Nice. I'm just going. That's... <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's something I would have missed purely because, like, the fact that I can't move normally whilst looking around i would have fully missed that entirely but yeah goodbye ship i don't need that this is all i need right here perfect fabulous it's happened there the whole time yeah i think so but it's you you, you can only move the camera if you're holding the d-pad down at the same time i would not have thought to do that <laughs> And nothing some duct tape can't fix. Yeah, I don't, no, I just don't, I don't need the rest of the ship. It's fine. I've already been in that situation before, back on Dark Bramble. It's not a problem. 
Right, I still want to try and get to... Uh, the, the, the Ash Twin. Get to the Ash Twin project. I need to remember whereabouts the things are. Oh, there's, there's my cockpit. Oh, Did you look at that? Isn't it so sweet? Oh, that button ties to another tricky maneuver that requires finesse. Is it blasting yourself into something? Okay, here it is, here it is, here it is. Let me down, please, gravity. Ow! I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, I'm where I should be now. Now I wait in here. I wait for my little alcove to appear. Hello, I would like my safety, please. May have entered here too soon. Oh no, here's my safety. There. There's my Alco. <laughs> uh, also want a slight hint for the quantum caves. I think at this point I will happily accept a hint, yes. Was I on the right track with either somewhere in the sunless city or somewhere in the, the caverns before it's full of sand? Oh, the hint would be read the logs again, challenge assumptions. I, I I will try that. I'll try that. I'll go read the ship log carefully. I shall. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Yes and no. Okay, I approve. <laughs> Alright, am I ready? I'm ready. Yeah, I've gotten the hang of this now. Alright, I wonder if there's anything else around here. Like, I kind of just want to... Is there anything I can do with the masks? Like, a little part of me is like, what if I, like, remove the masks? <laughs> what if I, like, unpower a mask from the wall or something? It would be awful. I shouldn't do that. But what if? <laughs> hmm. Uh, also, the scout's super good for discovering that warp works. Oh! Wait, that makes sense. Yeah, send the scout up. I could imagine that would make it easier too, because it would like activate the return warp. I didn't even consider that. Right, let's turn gravity off. I don't need gravity. Let's have a look around. What's going on? Ow. Boop, boop. Look, I can see the the edge, the edge of the the protective like the protective like casing that was made out of the materials they got. Oh, I'm like right around the edge now. This is cool. I'm very fast. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere. Oh, is there something here? Just having a look at this whole mechanism now. Huh. It's very cool. They've made this very secure. Oh. Oh, I'm nearly low on... I'm nearly out of fuel. Yeah, I'm just kind of floating around in here. I don't know what I'm doing, but... 
Oh, it's chilling here until the end of the loop. Oh, wait, yeah. <gasps> yes. You know what? I'm going to turn the gravity back on. There we go. Whoop, there we go. So I'm not wasting all my fuel. But, oh, yeah, if, if I'm protected in here... Then when the supernova hits, oh, I want to see what's going to happen with the masks. I'm, I'm going to stand by the masks. I want to see what happens when the supernova hits in here. I'm going to stand right here. Oh, this mask fell off the wall. That's such a shame. Maybe that's why somebody couldn't connect to it. Yeah, also the music here is so incredible. And, uh, chase the probe yet? No, that's I haven't done that yet. That might be a fun thing to try. But uh, I feel like the probe goes so quickly. I don't know if I'd manage it. Uh, you might have noticed the stone pieces gave redundant text. That's because they give you the chance to read both sides of the conversations. Yeah, that's what I love about it. And like being in here too, like I've seen the inside of this room so many times from the opposite stone. So even though it's like a place that I know I've been to, I still wanted to see it and be like, oh, hey, yeah, I remember that place. Right, 10 minutes until end of cycle transmission. We're chilling here for 10 minutes. Right, I'm gonna have a sip of my drink. But yeah, this game has been so incredible. got a little boop. Oh, you landed on the probe once. Nice. Nice. I think after this, I, I might try and land on the sun station. But I can't see it going well. I think I'm simply going to throw myself into the sun a bunch of times. But I want to at least try it. Oh, I'm like floating slightly. Moving forwards as I'm just... Yeah, I'm, I'm like swaying forwards and backwards. Like, even with the gravity, there's still a little bit. Still a little bit. Oh, you've heard but haven't seen that the probe can crash into the launch camp, killing you. <laughs> but it would make sense, because it's just sending them out in a random direction. It makes sense that one of them, one day, would be directly into the camp. Oh, that's so great, though. Yeah, and also DLC plans. What I'm going to do is, after this stream, uh, starting next week, I'm going to start another game that I've really wanted to play for a while. Uh, for anyone who knows puzzle games and, like, deductive logic games, I'm going to start playing uh, The Case of the Golden Idol, which is a game I've wanted to play for a while, but I haven't gotten around to it. So that's going to be, like, my, my in-between game. I'm going to start playing that next week, but then after that, I'm going into the DLC, and I'm very excited for it so yeah it shouldn't be more than like two or three weeks i think from what i've heard about case of the golden idol uh a friend of mine said that they finished it in about nine hours so knowing me like add three hours padding on for me talking about random stuff then i think i think it'll be good a good little break in between because i am i'm feeling so emotionally drained right now after that ending. in the best way in the absolute best way, I'm I'm feeling both broken and healed at the same time. <laughs> I feel like it's the only way I can word it. I'm it that ending broke me, it also healed me. Such a good game. It's been so good. But yeah, that is the plan. I'm gonna play Case of the Golden Idol after this, and then we're going into the DLC. Oh, let's turn the gravity off. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Wait, I wonder. Oh, I've got an idea. I wonder. I wonder if I can trigger 
trigger the masks to like accept the data and then pull the warp core out. That's my current thought that I'm gonna try. I've got like no fuel though, so I'm gonna have to be so careful. Okay, velocity matched. I'm just gonna chill here for a bit. Yeah, I can see the masks over there. Yeah. But, oh, Zorfrag! Zorfrag, Zor thank you for the follow! Welcome, welcome! Hope you enjoy your time here. I'm about to um, break things, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I'm gonna break things. I'm excited for the potential to break things. Oh, 98% positive reviews. Think you also know what you'll be playing next. Yes! It's been recommended to me by quite a few people who've just said, yeah, this is your kind of game. You should play it. So I'm very excited. Oh. I lost my matching velocity. I let go of X. But oh, you're gonna play it so you don't get spoiled. Oh, thank you. And you'll know what in chat is a spoiler. Uh, what game? I'm gonna play Case of the Golden Idol. It's a game I've had for a little while because people have recommended it and said, Larry, you will like this game. So that's why I wanna play it. But yeah, that's gonna be my in-between game before I start the DLC for this, because I think I, I think I need a while just to process it, honestly. <laughs> like, this has been so incredible. Right, yeah, I'm just gonna wait here. I'm gonna wait for the masks to get all their data and then I'm gonna pull the warp core out. <laughs> Cause I'm a smart person. I don't see how anything could go wrong. Let's see if I can get a bit closer to it actually. Yeah, right here. There we go. Should have had me nap at a bonfire. It's okay though. Cause it just says using oxygen as propellant, but there's oxygen in here anyway. So it just fills up. <laughs> it's not a problem. It would be a problem if there wasn't a source of oxygen in here. But thankfully they, they put some trees. It was very nice of them. Yeah, also a, a game recommendation. Ooh. Ooh, I'm always happy for recommendations. Oh, and thank you for the haiku, Redeem. So, why am I here? Look at this advanced warp core. I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> A good haiku. Warp core powers all. Without it, I simply die. What if I took it? There, that's, a, that's another bonus haiku. <laughs> oh, the music in here is so good though. I love this. It's so good. Trees, how do they work? Yeah, it's it's so wild how they just take carbon dioxide and make oxygen. It's pretty cool. Yeah, oh, want a fun puzzler? Have a look at Moncage. Oh, I've already played that. Or oh, Moncage. Moncage, Moncage. I, I could never decide how to pronounce it. It's like a montage and a cage. But yeah, I've played that one. I've actually got the VOD on my YouTube channel. If anyone's ever curious as to whether I've played a game or not, if you check out my YouTube, uh, every single game I've played, uh, every single VOD for every stream I've done, they're all on there. So it's very easy to just like search and be like, oh, has she played this one? Oh yeah, she has back in 2021. Mm -hmm. oh, the music's so good here though. Also, can I just say I love the color scheme? Very much enjoying the pink and teal going on in here. Very nice. There we go. Okay, I'm a bit closer again. I just want to make sure I can see the masks. <laughs> I'm gonna have a sip of my drink as well. Ah, I always call it Moon Cage. I see. See, that was a really cool game as well, though. But uh, I think, 
I think I got a little bit frustrated with it towards the end with like optional achievement things like that's not a game I fully completed but I, I very much enjoyed the journey while I was playing it it's such a cool concept I love things that like play around with perspection perspection perspective and things like that all right go on I'm hearing a lot of sounds go on Come on, end of the world. I'm ready for you. I know what I'm doing. There it is. There's the music. It's a very familiar color scheme. Yeah, it's, it's, look, look. we match so well. <laughs> the, the interior design was done by me. Oh, Return of the Oberdin. That's another one I've played and I, oh, I love that game so much. I adore that game. I wish there were more games like Obradin, but I also feel like it's it's so unique that it's kind of hard to to make more games like it because they're not going to be like it. If you know what I mean, like if that makes sense, it's it was so good. I love that game. But yeah, I've got such a soft spot for anything that involves like deductive reasoning, trying to like work things out like finding things out and then piecing them together yourself that's so good oh chance of senna oh, scratch the obra it. that's that's another game i have it on my wish list that's a game i want to play i haven't gotten around to it yet but i really want to play chance of senna it looks amazing okay got sucked into it. Oh, Look at all my memories there. <laughs> the memories, the memories flashing back is literally just... <laughs> ah, now I'm awake. Alright, back we go. I'm gonna nap for a little bit first. We're gonna have a little nap before we go this time. I think I'm just gonna head in there and take out the warp core, but just like wait in there. <laughs> da da da! Uh, make make sure I lock on to Ash Twin like normal. Or like, oh, the music. The music's so nice. But, uh, like, with the deductive reasoning, yeah, that, that's the main reason why I wanted to play uh, Case of the Golden Idol. I've heard it's, like, that kind of logical deduction that I love. Uh, make sure I lock on to Ash Twin like normal. Like, boom. So, like, matching velocity with Ash Twin? I guess? Okay. I'm going back again. Oh, you meant on the map? I'm so confused. I'm so confused what you, what you mean. Uh, yeah, re oh, read all the tags. Oh, ah. Uh. Yeah, I didn't check the the log. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I'm just gonna. 
Oh, hold on. No, I, I don't want to float in space when I'm this close to the sun. Never mind. Can I land on here? Hold on. I want to land somewhere so I can check. Oh, text on the map. What text? Ash Twin, you are here? Oh! 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 <gasps> Aha! I am there! I am there! Okay! Alright! I see! Oh yes, I am so ready for this. I am so ready for this. I've got someone I have to go say hi to. Hold on. <laughs> that took me so long. I'm sorry, I'm blaming the fact that it's nearly 1am at this point. <laughs> It's nearly 1am and I got emotionally destroyed. Otherwise, that wouldn't have taken me as long to notice. But, um... I've got it. I've got to go say hi to a friend of mine. Alright, if I can figure out whereabouts the, the thing is again. Oh, is it here? No, this is a different one, isn't it? Maybe. I always get so lost. Oh no, oh no, please let me stay in the atmosphere. Oh, please. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the path that... ...that it takes. Okay, yes. I can't get down. I can't get down from here. Okay! No, I'm down. All right. I made it down, okay. <laughs> okay, well I missed I missed this run through, but I can do the next one. It's fine. It's fine, I can do the next. I went the wrong side anyway. We're doing the next one. <laughs> Equator on the left gro globe. Yeah, look, I, I literally went the worst possible way I could. I was so close to it. I was right next to it. And I, I, I went all the way around the planet. <laughs> I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. Oh, thank you for the haiku redeem. Here we go. Have you heard of maps? They can show you where you are. Wait, no, not that way. <laughs> My experience with the, the you are here. Thank you very much. The dangerous things they're doing are giving you a heart attack. I'm glad to hear it. I'm. It's so funny because in games like this, I feel like I'm either super cautious to the point of maybe being too cautious, or I just fully throw everything away and I'm just like, yeah, I'm just going. I am simply going right now. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just so bad with directions. I'm really bad with directions. Map says you are here. But where is here, exactly? That is the question. There's- that's a free- that's a free haiku, that's a freebie there. A uh, haiku about what I'm expecting in there. I am there and here? Oh man! I gotta say hi. Let me meet myself. <laughs> When I go inside, am I going to break the masks? Is that what happens? Oh, I'm, I'm ready for this. I'm so excited for this. I feel like something horrible is going to happen. There's going to be some weird... weird thing going on with two people and the same mask. Oh, am I like, am, am I in there with the warp core? I think I might actually be like, oh, wait, hi. Talk to self. Oh, hi. Hi, you seem pretty cool. Who are you? Whoa. Are you me from the last loop? I think so. I started this current loop by popping out of a white hole inside the Ash Twin project. I started at the campfire like usual. Makes sense to me, seeing how jumping into the black hole is definitely what created two of us. Hey, what do you think happens if you don't jump into the black hole again at the end of this loop? Guess we'll find out! 
<laughs> yeah, I love that one of the options is just, ah! Well, my instant response to this one is just like, guess we'll find out. I guess so. At any rate, it's been good talking to you, me. Incredibly strange, but good. See you around. I, I love how I talk like myself as well. I'm gonna go, whoa, this got weird in a hurry. Yeah, duplicating living beings probably wasn't what the Namai had in mind when they built the Ash Twin project. Uh, I wonder if there being two of us screws anything up. Well, we're talking to each other and nothing ex nothing's exploded yet. Uh, Gossard always says that means the date's going well. Yeah, but it's Slate's definition of a boring date. Makes sense Gossan and Slate never dated. That and the whole mishap with Gossan's eye. Oof, yes, the eye thing. Yeah, that's... yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. Quickly changing the subject, you know how I, uh, we jumped into the black hole that opened up at the end of the last time loop? What do you think would happen if you don't jump in this time? Huh. That's a good question. Oh, disable time stopping when talking to people. Okay. That's a good question. Uh, it's something I'll do that after this conversation. Something I've been wondering about. We're in thoroughly uncharted territory at this point. Truly, we are the Feldspar of weird time stuff. <laughs> oh, geez. Feldspar would just use the time loop to try increasingly outlandish stunts, wouldn't they? Might be a good thing they aren't aware of it. Yeah. Yeah, let me... Oh, pre-flight checklist. Freeze time while talking to others. Nope. Here we go. Whoa, this is the greatest day of my life. Sure, two of us is great and all, but is it the greatest? What about the day we, you know, what about that one? <gasps> Are you talking about the day I... Oh, what? No, no, I'm talking about the other one. Oh, yeah, that makes way more sense. Yeah, now you've got it. That was an incredible day. But today is probably the next greatest day of our life after that one. Wait, can you read my mind? Definitely no. I just have the same memories as you. Except for this loop, I mean. I started this loop by popping out of a white hole inside the Ash Twin Project, since in the loop before this one, I jumped into the black hole. Hey, what do you think happens if you don't jump into the black hole again at the end of this loop? If I don't, then where did you come from? Also, Lookout00, zero zero, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. If I don't, then where did you come from? That's a good point. I mean, I feel as real as ever, so I don't think I'm a figment of your imagination or anything like that. That's just what a figment of my imagination would say. Are you being sassy? You can't sass me, you are me. No, see, me being you means that I am perfectly qualified to sass you. Like, that I'm the only one who can sass you. Does kind of prove we're the same person, though. At any rate, yeah. Nice. Now we're going- ah! Ah! What have we done? Jumping into that black hole was a terrible idea. Yes. Yes, it was. Whoa. Ah! I needed to know what would happen. Okay. Okay, I'm calm. Whoa. Ah! 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 <laughs> I was just screaming. Uh, do you think we have the same memories? Uh, I remember all the time loops, including last loop when I jumped into the black hole in here. What about you? Uh, same, except I woke up at the campfire, like always. It makes sense one of the two versions of us would start at the campfire as usual. Hey, what do you think? Da -da -da? Guess we'll find out. I love the, the scream animation there. Ah! 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 Wog! Wog! Ah, 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ah! <laughs> this is great. These these dialogue options are incredible. You good? I'm good. Right, one more. Ah, okay, I'm done screaming too. Bam ba bam. Uh maybe the universe doesn't mind two of us. Hopefully not. Besides, an extra version of us is definitely better than if we'd created an extra anglerfish or something. <laughs> yeah. My thoughts exactly. 
guess we'll find out. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna scream. We're gonna scream for a bit. Look! Ah! Just, I'm just screaming. I'm just having a little scream. Whoa. There we go. Oh, wait, that haiku's so great. Still, this feels special. I hope you won't mind if I see you as a friend. I love that, that's a haiku. I just want to try, like, random stuff. Da -da -da. Unlike all of the other time manipulation we've experienced. Bam ba bam bam. We got him. Bam ba bam. What do I remember from before this loop? Uh. Bam bam bam. Right, this got weird in a hurry. Pretty novel experience. Kind of nice. Uh, I'm no expert, but you seem pretty real to me. Thanks, you seem real to me too, so I guess there's just two of us now. I guess there's just two of us. Hmm. Do we just wait now? I guess I'm just gonna wait now. See what happens when, when the universe ends. Because I'm not gonna jump in the black hole again. I'm gonna create a paradox, probably. Oh, speaking of Solanum. Oh, I've got a, a pair of rocks to combine there. Oh, is that what I missed? I thought I went through them all. I thought I managed to go through them all, but if I did miss one, yeah, please let me know. Yeah, we're just gonna relax here. Chillin'. Hi. Hello, friend. Oh, I wonder if anything will happen with the statue. Ooh. Ooh. Make two separate sets of memories. That would be very weird. And it's gonna be here. This is my home now. <laughs> oh, I love this game though. This is so good. But yeah, I think this is going to be my last thing I do for now. Um, before I go to bed, because it's already 1am now, so... <laughs> I should definitely get some sleep soon. But uh, I will be trying to get all of the lobs. Lobs? The logs. Oh, you'll learn something if you take the warp core out and then put it back in. <gasps> oh. I want to do that. I want to do that. Oh, but I don't want to get sucked into the black hole again is the thing. Oh, I guess I can get down in time. Stop that from happening. I'll just wait for the music to start, take it out, put it back in again, and then close the thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here now. Yeah, just get away from it before the end. Yeah, I'll, I'll close it back up again immediately. I'll, I'll just run down. Oh, no need to close. Okay, I'll just, I'll just run. <laughs> Let's take it out, put it back in. What if I just do it now? I do that. And then see. I just gotta wait for the music now, I guess. Oh, the music stopped. Oh, the music stopped. Now it starts again? Oh. Okay, what happens if. Will the masks lose power? Doesn't sound very good. Yeah, it doesn't sound great. I'm going to uh, 
not do that? <laughs> hmm. I want to wait until supernova happens. Warp core powers the audio system. It's so cool to think about the fact that there's like actually music playing here. It's not just like video game ambient background music, it's like there's actually music going on in here. And it's so pretty too. Also, Tay, hello, welcome, welcome. I did indeed. Oh, I hope I didn't put it in upside down. Oh no. Yeah, me too. I'm hoping it's like batteries where it's quite obvious which end is the right end. Because otherwise, oopsie. It's probably fine. It's probably fine, I think. I'm just waiting for the sun to explode now. <laughs> but welcome, Tay. I, I just uh, got, I, I just like completed the game. I just got like the ending. And I am feeling so emotionally drained in like the best kind of way. I love this game. This has just been such an incredible journey, though. I'm just waiting now. We're just waiting for the sun. Have a sip of my Sprite while we wait. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're just relaxing now. Relaxing and not breaking things. Oh, while I'm waiting, check out Ash and Ember and tell me what you see. Oh, there's a- oh, they're overlapping. The music stops! Oh my god, the music stops for the- it's, it just stops all the music! Oh! Right, well I'm not going into any black holes. I'm gonna wait here and look at the masks. Let's just see what happens. We're waiting. Waiting over here. I don't know which one is my mask. Maybe I will break it. Maybe maybe it'll get overwhelmed because there's going to be like two memories going into it. I wonder if one will overwrite the other. Hmm. Hold on. One will match the other, or like overwrite it somehow. Ooh. 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 Oh, my controller is vibrating so much right now. I broke it. I broke it! Yay! Yay, I broke the space-time continuum! I destroyed the fabric of space-time! Feels good. I mean, not not good. It's a bad thing. It's a terrible thing. But I did it! Yes! We get the kazoo again! Oh, it spread- oh, it spreads from myself. Oh, nice. Having two here breaks it all. I love it. See, a little part of me in now is also like, what if I just kept jumping through the black hole and making extra ones every time? Imagine if I could just have like an army of myself in there and everything is fine so long as I still go back and make sure to keep adding to the army. I don't think it would work like that. I think just having... 
I think it, they would still just only be the one anyway, but it's a fun thing to think about. But yeah, I, I broke space time. You so nice, it's great. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's mostly a situation now where it's it's past one a.m. and I'm I'm getting very tired. <laughs> but this is so good. I love this game. I love this game so much. It's so incredible. What an amazing journey. But ah, uh, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. It makes sense that they would give themselves like. A warning if like a supernova is about to happen they've got like that warning ahead of time so they know to prepare for it but oh that was that was such an incredible journey such an incredible journey and I'm not done yet I will be doing the DLC probably in uh, three or four weeks time but oh that was oh, chef's kiss I'm so glad I played that Oh, I I feel so overwhelmed thinking about it. Like it's just so well made. It's so good, and the soundtrack is so good too. It's just absolutely phenomenal. But yes, oh, I'm I'm glad people managed to catch it too. It's oh, that was that was amazing. I love this game. I am so exhausted now, though. I definitely have to <laughs> go get some rest. Don't spoil myself! I won't do, don't worry. I'm still not looking up things yet. That can happen after I've done the DLC. But, oh, that was that was so good. That was so good. But yes, now I think it's time to... Whoop. I'm gonna head over to here and we can find someone to send a raid on to. Oh, that was so good, though. That was incredible. What a, what a great, great game. <laughs> welcome to the cult! I'm welcomed. I am welcomed. I will I will still be very careful to I I think I'm not at the point of watching other people stream it yet because I want to wait until I've done the DLC as well. But oh I am so excited for when that day comes. I want to watch other people play this so much now. <laughs> and Fran, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Ah, uh, go ahead and watch the no clip documentary, but don't read any comments. Don't worry, I don't read comments. <laughs> Especially not on YouTube. I'm, I've, I've learned my lesson with reading YouTube comments. But oh, I'm... Oh, what a, what a great game. What a great game this has been. What a great experience. I have had such a blast with it. I've had so much fun. But yeah, I think it's time for me to um, sleep now. Alright, let's find someone to send a raid on to who is live. There's a few people I know who are live. Oh, I wonder how much longer Yuri is going to be streaming for. She's already been going for four and a half hours, but I kind of just want to raid Yuri anyway because of having the opportunity to. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to send you all over Yuri's way. Yuri is a red panda VTuber. I don't know how much longer she'll be streaming for, but she has been known to do very long streams. So I'm going to hope she's going for a little bit longer. But if not, you can just jump along on the raid train. <laughs> But yes, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me for this for this incredible journey. I'm oh, I've I've loved every second of it. This has been so so good. What a great game! But yeah, I, I definitely I I probably I don't think I'm even going to sleep now. I'm just gonna lie in bed and think about the game. <laughs> I'm not gonna be sleeping. I'm just gonna be thinking about it. But oh, it's been so good. Anyway, here is the raid message. If you're subbed, we got fire. If you're not subbed, we still got fire. There's always fire. It's not my fault. It's not arson. But I'm gonna send you over to Yuria and hope that she keeps streaming a little bit longer. If she doesn't, you can just um, hop along on the raid train to whoever she raids as well. <laughs> but Yuria's great. She's a she's a good friend of mine. And I am I'm gonna go lie down. <laughs> what a good game though. It's so fun. Uh, my schedule for next week will be up some point tomorrow when I when I wake up and decide on it. <laughs> but yeah, this has been such a blast, and I'm so excited to, to play the, the DLC as well soon. But yes, that is it from me for now. I am going to head to bed now, and I hope everyone else has a lovely rest of the day, start of the day, 
whatever time zone, just a good time. <laughs> I've got no brain left anymore. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, that was so good, though. Ugh. Sleepy time. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And until next time, bye-bye!